Good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. So you're here today with me, Neil. Um, yeah, you've got the short straw me again. Um, obviously, because I'm doing the show, we're gonna have some magic in a bit. I've promised one of our Facebook viewers we're gonna get it done before 20 past eight because she needs to go to work. So we need to get a, keep a bit of pace this morning. So we've got some surprises for you today as well. I'm obviously gonna try and cut my finger off later. We'll get all that in, his, in two. Um, a few bits of news that I know people are dying to find out about. The first one is our current crummy website. Uh, we're currently sharing uh, Joy Maker's website, aren't we? That's getting replaced on the 15th of October, all fingers crossed. So 15th of October, we'll have a nice brand new shiny Sewing Street website. So that'll be great. Uh, the other thing everyone wants to know about is split pay. So will you get split pay on the 15th? No, you're gonna get it Friday. So split phase and launch on Friday. We'll tell you more about it on the day because um, I don't want to waste time this morning. But come Friday, from Friday midnight to Thursday night onwards, you'll be able to use split pay. We'll go into more details later. OK, so I did ask for navy green for the early bird um, and I got navy blue. So I think someone doesn't understand their navies. <laughs> so, so in this, uh, today's early bird, we've got a brand new fabric which this morning I said to Kat, I said, oh, you know, how, how can you explain that fabric? And she went, well, it's animal print, isn't it? And I said, are you sure, Kat? And she says, yeah. And I, said, I said, well, what animal is that? And she goes, well, it's a giraffe, isn't it? <laughs> so, so apparently this is, a, a, a gir this is what giraffes look like in Kat's world. <laughs> so it's a giraffe, a giraffe slash leopard. Oh, it's Paul, little Paul says it's a giraffe wearing a leopard top. So that's a beautiful... Beautiful half metre of fabric there, really nice pattern. Sorry, I'm waving it round. You get used to it. And this early bird, we've got really nice contrasting fabric. So we got, they told me to wear a navy t-shirt today. I always wear navy t-shirts. But they told me to wear a navy t-shirt um, to match the early bird. So there we go, we're matching. To get half metre of your um, giraffe skin print, <laughs> very loosely. Half metre of your um, navy blue, not navy green and half metre of white, and that's £9.97. So that's a great price for a metre and a half of fabric. So we've got our giraffe slash cheetah slash <laughs> whatever print. So yeah, if you message in there, let us know what animal you think this is. <laughs> it's called what? Cozy Minds, it's called Cozy Minds. So it's really nice, you've got dark, navy blue um, around the grey there, then you've got like light grey, then you've got a blue in the background, and we've got it all really nicely matching. So £9.97, that's for one and a half metres of fabric, so that's an amazing price on that. So as those who shop with us often know, uh, we do one P&P all day. So once you've opened your basket, no matter how much you add, you only get charged one P&P. So you can put whatever you want in there. You can put big sewing machines in there. You can put lots of little things in there, however you want to shop. But once you've paid that one P and P, it's free all day. You can just keep adding to your basket. So when, we, when we've got things busy, like the early birds, you have to check out. So, but you can check out over and over again and it doesn't add to your P and P. So don't worry that once you've checked out, that's it. You can go back in, you can add more stuff and check out a second time. But if you don't check out, you just leave it in the basket, you do risk missing out on some of the uh, busier items. So this is already going really well. So if you've got it in your basket, check out now. You can still check out later today and you still pay the one uh, P and P charge. Who, hey, Janice. So Jan's asked me to keep away from the electric scissors. Uh, no, we can't guarantee that. I've, I've, I've literally been walking around the office trying to find what I can cut up. Um, there's a, a lad who sits opposite me called Dan. Um, he's, he's promised me he's going to watch the show today. So if you're watching Dan, I may have found something off your desk <laughs> to cut up. OK, so we'll just quickly um, tell you about the early bird one more time. So we've got that lovely um, fabric there that's a giraffe stroke cheetah stroke sending your messages what we think it could be. And then we've got your white and navy blue to complement that. It's £9.97 for one and a half metres. OK, so let's go through today's menu then. OK, so I'll do the magic trick straight after the menu, I promise. So 8am, we've got Miss It, Miss Out fabrics. 9am, we've got Rose Twill Quilt with Sally Ann Harrison. 10am, we've got Neil's Tools and Accessories. 11am, we've got Heart Wall Hangings with Sally Ann Harrison. And 12pm, we'll be showing a repeat, which is the October Flower of the Month. 
So as you can see, we've got a great day planned for you today and I'm sure I'll be trying to cut my own fingers off later as well. Anyway, I promised you some magic tricks, so today we're going to do some magic tricks. So I've been asked to do it at the start of the show this time instead of the end of the show to make sure everyone sees it. So as usual, these magic tricks involve some fabric. And I've actually got the K facet design wall here, so this is a form part of my magic trick. And you've seen kind of how these tricks work before, so but this is an extra special one. So I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to count three, two, one. <laughs> it's just got. Where am I? Um, anyway, let's get on with the show. We've got Miss It, Miss Out. So, should we just start? Yes, I know, exactly. Um, I know. Well, hello, hello, everybody. It's me. I'm here. I'm really here. Uh, Who are you? Who am I? Oh, yes, for those of you who don't know, my name's John Scott. I'm new here. It's my first day at Sewing Street. Um, and uh, I'm very happy to be here. And we've got a fabulous show lined up. Neil is staying around for the first hour. Uh, now, if you've got any messages, don't forget to send them in. Uh, it's studio at sewingstreet.com. Here it is. I've learned. I've learned. Get your messages in studio at sewingstreet.com. If you've got any questions, want to know anything, want to shout at Neil for bringing me back. Oh, no, I'm not going. Officially, I'm not back, am I? It's my first day. But if you've got any messages, please, please get them in. But we've got to get on with the show. And if you've got any questions for me, please send them in. But uh, should we just get on with it? I can mess up the desk yeah. now, can't I? Hang on. So let's get this out. Let me get this out. I've got to make myself at home, haven't I? Gerardine, this is my glasses case holder that Gerardine had made for me. And it's um because I kept losing my glasses, didn't I? So she had this and I just put my glasses on it now. So that goes there. That goes there. Right. Shall we start? Oh no, hang on, let me tidy up because this has got to fold that. <laughs> right, uh, it's miss it, miss out this hour. Miss it, miss out. So uh, shall I start with some gorgeous fabrics? I'm gonna start with these. Now these are all new to me, so bear with me. These are all 100 percent cotton. This is Michael Miller. Now, you know Michael Miller's not just one person, don't you? It's two people. They met at the school gates. It's a man and a lady, both with children, and they've got a gorgeous apartment in um, New York, in the Iron Building, where they uh, have their salon. I think I've got, have I got that upside down to start with? I have, look. Multi, not multi-directional. There we go. I don't know, watch <laughs> off. And here I am. Uh, right, now, th this is the, uh, oh, now the graphics are very small, aren't they? <laughs> Michael Miller, Chanel in Aqua. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. This is lovely. Now remember, when this is gone, it's gone. That's why it's called Miss It Miss Out because when it's sold, it's gone. Limited quantity. It's rather gorgeous. Do you know what? Can I just tell you? This cotton is fabulous. It's got the most incredible uh, feel to it. It's a really, really, really good quality. You know when you stay in a posh hotel and they have posh sheets and things like that, you can tell that this is a good fabric. It's got that lovely kind of satin sheet. Little Paul has got no idea what I mean. He's only used to um, your cheap bed sits. That we have, we're having so many comments. Facebook's going wild. Oh, apparently Facebook's going wild. Go on then. So we've got, I'll just read you a few. There's yeah. so many. I'm just going to pick a few out. But we've, we've got loads of OMGs. <laughs> Uh, good OMGs or bad yeah, OMGs? <laughs> oh, I, I think they're good. <laughs> uh, Linda Shan said, o OMG, John Scott with lots of hearts. Uh, Dennis Treen, welcome back. Sue Grant, best surprise ever. Oh, thank you. So I Ellen, was a bit worried. I have to say, last night I was like, because you all got so excited that Neil was going to be on for <laughs> them. I was like, oh no, it's a bit worrying there. Ellen Paul says, um, welcome back, made me cry with happiness. So lots of one. There's, there's so many messages. Carol Hodge said, you're right, Neil, better than a discount code. Oh, thank you. First time I've been called that. Laurie Goldsmith, good morning, John. So pleased to see you. You look great. I haven't been to the gym either maybe, since March. Maybe Laurie needs new glasses. <laughs> That's my joke. Anyway, carry on. So Patricia made my morning. There's just hundreds, 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 hundreds. Oh, thank you so much. I have to say, I was really worried yesterday because I just, I was really, really frightened. I, I was, when I went to bed last night, I thought, I'm a bit excited. And then I thought, oh, what happens if they're all like, oh, what's he doing? I tell you, because do you remember a couple of weeks ago when Mark did his first show and they did a picture of a pair of glasses on a, wind, uh, on a windowsill and a tape measure and said, oh, who's joining the Stone Street family? And I was like, oh, I hope it's John Scott. I hope it's John Scott. I hope it's John Scott. And then one woman, I won't say her name, Linda. Uh, <laughs> oops, uh, said, oh, I hope to goodness it's not John Scott. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Linda, if you're watching morning, I've ruined your day. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, but we're here to do fabric, so can we get on, please? We've got one that's made me laugh. Oh, no, here we go, <laughs> what? A, I like this bloke. <laughs> I like this bloke. <laughs> Who's that from? <laughs> that's from Margaret. Margaret, I, li thank I like you. this bloke. <laughs> I like this bloke. Oh, no, uh, now, uh, Lisa the Vickers mentioned, m m m emailed in. 
Oh, she's watching with her new dog. That's Kat and Jeremy Joe's mum. She's now a vicar, right? And on a Sunday morning when I do my Facebook Lives, I'm up against her, apparently. She loses all her viewers when I come on. Uh, right, now, hang on. Let me get this the right way up. Come on, concentrate, John. You've only got one job. Is this, am I on probation, then? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I have to do it <laughs> properly, don't I? Yeah, you're going to be A for at least six months. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Which way is it pointed to? Oh, there. There you go. I'm in the right place. Oh, I like that one. What's this one called, then? Dirt. No, it's not, is it? I'm going to have to... Do you know what? Can you make that writing bigger? <laughs> <laughs> and th th it'll be fine. It'll be fine when I get my laptop. Hey, it's called Brian, Dirt. Can you borrow your glasses? I've got my glasses here, but they're for close. <gasps> uh, they're gorgeous. I love this one. I absolutely love that fancy calling it Dirt. I love that. It's, it's more, I call it chocolate. It's chocolate, raspberry chocolate is. And then the flowers are beautiful because they've got the pink and the turquoise and the aqua in there and everything. Oh, actually, it'll match beautifully with the aqua one I just showed you, if you can remember that one. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. Michael Miller, remember, really, really good quality cotton. Oh, they've got a new fold. Who does the folding now? I don't know, it's a new, new way of folding things. I have to get used to this. No, no, I, I can't guess that. I, oh... The poor little Paul just says to me, whatever you do, John, don't lose the sticker. Is that off that one, though? I'll put it, I'll put it there. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> LR YV30. Now, we've got navy next. It's not navy. It's a French blue, this one, but it's lovely. These are, oh, I, th I think this might be my favourite, actually. Oh, Michael Miller, remember. Let me get it the right way up. There you go. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Look. Look at the... Oh, that is... That's like a midnight blue, isn't it? Seven ninety nine. It's a what? No, it's nothing like teal, Cat. Teal's green. Oh, t Cat thought that was a giraffe. You yeah, exactly. You can't take what Cat's saying. Snake skin. Uh, oh, apparently snake skin, Neil's fabric. Uh, yeah, I would have said snake skin as well. Not for this, not for this, obviously, not for this. Elliot's here in his shorts. I know. I wonder when he checked. But mind you, the postman. Maybe Elliot was a postman in a past life because the postman is still wearing No, he doesn't shorts, deliver. <laughs> oh. I've known, now, if, if you think I'm being rude about Elliot, I've known Elliot longer than I've known you. Elliot was uh, when we used to work at... Oh, no, they're all coming off. It's not me. Oh, now Kat's got hundreds of emails as well now. Oh, she's going to forward them to... Isn't this the same as... Oh, no. Are there any complaints? Do anyone to know about the complaints, Neil? Uh, there's a few. <laughs> Someone said, who's he? <laughs> That's so we've nice. got, we've got uh, from Denise, thank you for bringing John back. Uh, there's like there's hundreds. Oh, thank yeah, you. Thank so you, much. thank you, John, for coming back. We love you, Cat's mom. Oh, brilliant to have John back where he belongs, Andrea. Uh, John, yeah, wonderful surprise. Neil, nice seeing you back on air. Lovely seeing you, John. Thank you, thank you. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Look. Now you see, I think that one. Imagine that. I know, I know it's not. It's only forty-four inches wide, hundred percent cotton. But wouldn't that be a lovely back to a quilt? That'd be a gorgeous quilt back in that one. Fair, it is fresh. That is a good word for it. Fresh. Who used to say that? Oh, Rod. Rod Jinx used to say that, didn't he? Fresh. Like that. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. Beautiful, beautiful cotton. This. Remember, I've only got limited amounts of each of these. So uh, once they've gone, we're not reordering these. Oh, yes. Kat says, it's, th thank you for messaging, but don't forget to buy them as well, because they are good. very, very limited. Very, very limited. I think we'll have to get a little hole cut in the floor. I bet this desk's all right for Sally Ann Harrison, isn't it? It's the right height for Sally Ann Harrison. I feel a little bit tall next to it. There we go. Were they? Yeah, yeah. They're not IKEA desks. They had these desks specially made, apparently. Well, when they're coming back to finish them. <laughs> they only did the fronts, didn't they? Yes. <laughs> you Behind the scenes. Around the front, they're lovely, but around <laughs> the back, they're like, you know. And oh, functional. Nice. That's a, now, what colour do they call this one? Oh, OK, pink. Well, no, no, I'd call it pink, but I'd call it a dusky pink or something like that. 
soft pink, candy floss pink maybe, 7 99 for half a metre. This is the last of the Michael Millers in the big florals. I've got Janelle coming up next. Also, let me tell you, I've got some brand new fabrics. Well, coming up at the end of the hour. I've got some brand new fabrics coming up, which isn't missing a sound. Right, Peggy. That's all the Michael Miller done. If you want to see them again, just let Kat know and we'll, um, we'll bring, I'll leave them here for you. Yeah, she's got to go through all the emails. Right. So then, this is Janelle, isn't it? Now there's, oh no, that was Janelle. Sorry. This is one, two, three, four. I think there's five. Moda. Oh no, you know, you love your Modas. Look at these together. Um, I think if you can make a quilt, wouldn't they be gorgeous together? I'd use the blue as a feature. But look at those together, like very traditional, aren't they? That, I know that last one's called Papillon. But this one here. Oh, this one's Riley Blake, this one, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Now, beautiful, look at that one. That's Riley Blake, Meadow Lane in grey feather. 7 99 for half a metre. Miss it, miss out, remember. Oh, that is pretty, isn't it? I love Riley Blake. I wonder if Cindy, I wonder if Cindy, I wonder if we'll get Cindy in. Mind you, nobody's travelling, are, are they, at the moment? So it's a bit difficult. Isn't it awful missing Festival of Quilts and everything? I really, really missed it this year. And anyway, that's gorgeous. 7 .90. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. 7 99 for half a metre. I've got to hurry along a little bit because I've got lots to get through to sell. Yeah, well, no, because we've got Neil doing a special demonstration this hour as well, haven't we? We've got to fit that in. Oh, that won't be too long, John. You've oh, well, OK. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, this isn't just me. They're all, they're, maybe it's they're just attracted to me. This is nice. This is Moda. Sorry, I included that Riley Blake in the Moda. These are all Moda. That's, a, again, that's a really, really fantastic quality cotton. Um, the, the thing is, I would cut this on the bias because then you're going to get your, stri your stri stripes going a different direction, aren't they? I think it's very good for making a bold statement like the centre of a flower or maybe a border. The bordering, that would be nice. If you're going to use it for a quilt, that is, obviously. Oh, we're going to see it from the overhead. Do what? Right, I've got to put my head back. because wanna... Oh, yes. You see this here? Well spotted, Cat. Where is it? There. <laughs> there, look. I'm sorry that, but there's a little. Yeah, there go. I'm just saying that. Uh, they're little stars. Look, they're not quite the same stars as the one. They're not a five star star, four pointed star. Oh right, now I've got to, I've got to do my job, haven't I? Uh, remember we sell by the half metre, this 749 for half metre. If you want two metres, then you have to put four units in. Um, if you're in the call centre, 0800 001 new number for me to learn. Um, you can ring them, or of course you can buy it on the web. Now, I'm going to say something, and I know Neil knows this, but the web is a bit, if, you, if you're new to it, right, the web it can be a little bit complicated, because you go on and you see beads and things like that. You just have to go down and shop, is it shop the catalogue you click on? Yeah, if you go to uh, www.sewingstreet.com, you'll get the video at the top. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the products that are underneath. Um, there is a way of clicking categories, but it's all a bit clunky. But like I said, come the 15th of October, crossing everything. What date's it today, then? Um, it's, a, it's the sixth today. Oh, nine days? Nine, nine days' nine time. Days to um, new website will all be live, and it'll be a lot easier. But yeah, at the moment, just put the website in and scroll down, and you'll see the products down there. So, so the products from today's show are there? Yeah. And then if you want to go and look for other things... Just scroll further down. Yeah. Scroll further okay. down. Oh, can, go on then, let's have a look at it quickly. We'll just, do, just have a look at the website, right? Oh, that, okay, so you scroll down, there's all the lovely sewing machines. There's the early bird. There's the early bird, there's the fabrics. Oh, there's the star one I just had. Oh, there's the star one I just had to see. Oh, so can you see things that are coming up as well? Are they already yeah. loaded? Oh, that's good. There's what? There's ten units. There's only ten units of the Moda Mackinac. Mackinac navy blue striped star fabric limited edition. Oh, it says there are only 10 left. Oh, so if somebody buys that now, will that go down to however much? That? Oh, that's clear. When they check out. Oh, yeah, you've got to check so out. You've got remember, to check, you've got out, your to check out. Yeah. But now, 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 what you've got to remember is I know Neil said this already, but you can check out as many times as you like. You still only pay one PP of 390. It is 395, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, 3 95 You only pay one PMP for the whole day. So if you checked out on the early bird and then you're thinking, oh, John, I wanted some of that fabric, check out again, because it all gets... Um, that's not the word, is it? Accumulated is not the right word, is it? Con, con something. Consolidated. Consolidated. <coughs> Consolidated, because we go midnight to midnight. Is it the same? Yeah. We go midnight to midnight. So anything you buy between midnight last night, midnight tonight, will go on the one thingy. After midnight, then it goes into tomorrow sort of thing. But, but so, so it's only one PMP for all day, no matter. If, even if you bought one of everything, right? One of both things, you still only pay 3 95 post and packaging. Right, this is pretty. Do you know like this? you remember Joy Edgington? Well, not remember. She's still around. Joy Edgington, she'd love this. She loves traditional. She sent me a message just recently, but WhatsApp had obviously deleted it. So I messaged her going, what have you just sent me? Because WhatsApp have deleted it. She was like, oh, I don't know. Could be something rude, no doubt. Anyway, 7.49, five meter. This is Moda Lancaster. Oh, what are you giggling about? Neil's giggling about something. Oh, OK. He sent it, he's getting all the emails through. Really nice. 7.49 for half a metre. Moda, Moda. It's lovely detail because the background's even got a pattern in it as well, look. You want to see that on the overhead? There you go. I'll step back. Right, well, while we're admiring that fabric, we've got a message off Joan saying, yeah, John Scott back. Lovely to see you. So missed Who's you. Who's that, Joan? Joan. Thank you, Joan. Uh, we've got Mary Woolley. Hurra hooray, the lovely man is back. How I love his shirt, Shippy. Welsh oh, Mary. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, phew, I'm, I'm pleased about that. I was really worried that everyone was going to go, oh, what's he doing? <laughs> no, I'm not back. I've never worked on Sony Street before. This person says, I wish it was Neil. I'm only joking. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were joking because you hadn't got a name with it. This person says, that'll be your mum. Yeah, even my mum. <laughs> my mum's watching. I want Neil back on air. Right, let me put that one away. What? Lots of people said they thought they were watching the wrong channel or dreaming. Oh... What channel were you watching? Anyway, let's move on. Now, this, this reminds me of... You remember in the old days when I went to school? Neil won't remember this, but you used to have a summer uniform and a winter uniform, didn't you? And the girls all had to have dresses made for the summer, didn't they? This looks very much like a girl's summer dress fabric, I'd say. Oh, yeah, posh schools. Well, no, it was all... I didn't go to a posh school. No, it was the cheapest private school in the area. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't private. It was a grammar school. In fact, <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling that story, because it was a grammar school for boys. <laughs> <laughs> and were there, many, were there many boys wearing summer dresses there, John? <laughs> oh, it's very hot in here. Can we have the air con on, please? <laughs> oh, it's on already. <laughs> I'll move on. I'll move on. Have you seen that? Do you want to have a look at that from upstairs? Yeah, go on then. Oh, hang on. I've got to learn to put it. Oh, hang on, there's a bit of a delay. It's Paul directing everyone. Paul's producing tomorrow. Me? I'm in tomorrow. I know I'm not just here for one day. I'm in tomorrow. It's good. Nice, isn't it? What's she saying? Oh, right. Now, here we go. This one's called Papillon, which means butterfly. This is the last of the modas, because I'm going on to Liberty next. I've only got one Liberty, actually. Got a request, John. Oh, a request. Could you say hello to Diane Kent from Sarah Jane? Uh, Sarah Jane, you want me to say hello to who? Di in Kent? Yeah, it's her mum. Oh, hello, Di. How are you, my lovely? Hope you're enjoying the show. Hope you bought some fabric. <laughs> well, I've got to pay my way, haven't I? You know what I mean? This is beautiful, look. Oh, OK. So is, apparently, Little Paul's just told me this is my trial day. I've brought three shirts in. I didn't need to do that if it's my trial. <laughs> Now, um, shall I wear, I don't know if I should wear the butterflies or the, I'm thinking about tomorrow already, look, and I haven't even done today yet. Oh, and Delphine's on tomorrow, isn't she? Maybe I'll wear golden butterflies for Delphine tomorrow. Isn't it lovely? Beautiful biscuit or ecru, would you call that the background? What they called it? Oyster? Oh, you wouldn't eat an oyster that colour. I, mean, I wouldn't eat an oyster full stop, but... I wonder what it is, Aris, Arichia. I wonder what that is, Kat. Do you think it? that means pink butterfly, do you think? Elliot will know, he's multilingual. What does Arichia? Oh, it is a type butterfly, I was right, I was right, I was right. It is a type butterfly, rarely wrong. Well, I can't move on, Kat wants me to move on. She's bored of me already, you see. That's what, yeah, that's what I said, last of the modus. Now, this is Liberty. Liberté. 
The only, in fact, it's the only Liberty one I've got. Alison Glass next after this. So what's this one called? This one's called Hyde Floral. Seven forty nine. What's the matter, cat? What are you saying? You're muttering. I can't hear you. Oh, are we? Liberty Hyde Floral Fabric from the Flower Show Summer Range. I've got some of this at home. It's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Now, you know what? All of the all these Liberty collections, right? They did spring, summer, autumn and winter. They're the same patterns, but coloured in differently. And they're all taken from uh, vintage... They're recolouring of vintage patterns. And the reason you get so much detailing in Liberty Fabric is because they're from wood prints, original wood prints, wood blocks. So that's how you get so much detail. Because, you see, the other thing is, is the more colours you use, the more expensive it normally is. 7.49 we are for half a metre. Remember, we sell by the half metre. If you want half a metre, you just put one in on the website. But if you want two metres, you write four units, four units. I just think about that then. I drove in this morning in the dark. I haven't driven in the dark for months. It frightened me a little bit. Got a new car as well. Got a new car. Yeah. My blue one, my blue Duke, kept breaking down on me. It was horrible. It was really, really horrible. So I just went to the garage when I came back from London yeah. last Nissan, time. Nissan have just sued us. <laughs> No, 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 Nissan know that it was, I've bought another one, yeah, yeah. I've bought exactly the same, so I'm not slagging off the Duke, my next door neighbour Brad calls it, oh, I see you're still driving your joke, he thinks it's funny, he says it every time he sees me, but anyway, um, that's because I, I, look, here we go, anyway, they were very good, they found me this lovely red one, really, it's bright red, it's lovely, came from Belfast, I had to wait for two weeks. This is lovely, isn't it? This is Alison Glass, this, some prints. I tell you, likes Alison Glass, like uh, Louisa Gold. She uses them a lot. Oh, 6 99 6 99 for half me to this one. We've got Rachel Ills is watching. Rachel's and watching. Say, How's Gary? Say hello to Gary. Oh, he's watching. How is he? Poor old he's, Gary. He's recovering. Mind you, living with her, I'm not surprised. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> and they've all gone like, oof. You know, no, Rachel's suing us. <laughs> yes, Rachel's suing us now. So that's Nissan suing us, Rachel suing us. I'll send our love to Gary, won't you? will be back playing in his band soon, no doubt. Six ninety nine. Was their wedding anniversary? It was their birthdays and their wedding anniversary recently, wasn't it? This is lovely. Look at the stitch. Deal. That's almost like Sashko, like Susan Briscoe. Sashko. Now somebody was telling me a story about Susan Briscoe earlier. Has she still got her blue hair? Oh, oh, she's been on. She's been on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Susan Briscoe. Does she have her blue hair. Wait, we've had a question, John. Oh, right, here we go. It question. says, "Are you back for good?" Gary Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, we're not playing because oh, during lockdown we're doing Zoom. Um, what's it comp You know, like quizzes and everything like that. Who's that from? It's from Hayley. <laughs> <laughs> Hayley the boss. No, a few people have asked, are you back for good? Are you back for good, John? Well, it depends on Neil. It depends if I'm good enough today. Depends, this it is it depends trial. if he behaves, doesn't it? It what? It depends if he behaves, doesn't it? I'm behaving he's so already, He's already trashed the dressing room. <gasps> Uh, if you've got a cupboard, a dressing room, it looks like I, he, I, I can't even talk to you about the toilet situation. It looks like he's gone in there with his bag and stuff and like, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've made room for Sally Ann. She just didn't want to come in when I was in there. Uh, right, OK, this is nice. Do you remember when you were at school, right? Now, I'm going back a few years now. To learn, I don't think you'll have had this because you had digital in your time, little Paul. We used to have, the teacher would stamp a page nine times like that with a clock face and then she'd say, Put quarter past three. Look at this. This is that clock face. Lewis and Irene. We love Lewis and Irene. Can I just tell you? Can I just tell you? Know, I know a lot of you know this, but when I was doing my um, scrubs bags and my, um, for the NHS during the, during the summer, right? Lewis and Irene donated bolts of fabric so we could make beautiful ones. And, they, and it, wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, I have this old stuff. It was really, really beautiful stuff on the bolt. Like all wrapped in cellophane and everything. They were so kind to us. And I have to say thank you to you, all you ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's only 5 99 Lewis and Irene, Britannia, clock face on grey. Oh, I like that. Well, they're all different times. I wonder what the repeat is. I'm just going to pop it down. Oh, there's the repeat. Oh, it's quite a, it's like a six, seven inch repeat, so it's fine. There you go. It's nice, isn't it? Um... You see, now, I'm thinking if you're making... Because you don't want all your quilts to be floral, do you? Oh, hang on. Am I being told off? You're kicking me off. Oh, it's Hayley, the boss, everybody. She hasn't got a microphone. She's got a box of something. <laughs> Are they my glasses? <laughs> no, they're Dan's. 
I'm not telling you. So I'm not, hide it, hide I'm, it. I'm going to be demoing the electric scissors, aren't I? And we just wanted a few things off Dan's desk to see what So we who's Dan? Talk. I've not met Dan, have I? So Dan is um, a junior buyer who sits next to Paul in the office. Paul, grumpy uh, Paul, uh, as opposed to little Paul. Would you say Paul's Paul. grumpy? <laughs> Oh, oh well, that says a lot, Cat. Him. Cat loves him. Cat's in love bad. with him, apparently. Um, oh, Cat, we can't say that, aren't you engaged now? Nearly. <laughs> oh, Cat's nearly engaged. Yeah. So. Not to Paul. Not to no, Paul. not to Paul. <laughs> yeah, so he, he sits next to Paul. So um, so he's the junior buyer, Dan? Yeah. I must have met we him. Is we... he the one that wears leopard print and snake yeah. skin and fluff? <laughs> no, no, oh, no, that's, that's Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> okay, well. Dan does sometimes. But right. We, I thought I'd just cut a, a few of his things up. Yeah, mix it out now. Let's look at the fabric. I'm going to put this straight down, Cat and Paul. This is lovely. Oh, Christine remembers the clock faces. So you must be 40 as well, Christine, then, are you? I had my 40th birthday during lockdown. <laughs> Again? No, no, I was 39 <laughs> last year, wasn't I? It was 40 during lockdown. <laughs> I tell you what, it was so lucky, though, because I'd been living on my own. Obviously, I live on my own. But, um, and it was the week that they let your bubble come into your... Into your um, house and my whole family were able, well not my whole family, a few of my family were able to come and visit me on my birthday. Otherwise I'd have spent my 40th birthday all on my own. Five. <laughs> yeah, Paul spent his birthday on his own. Not grumpy Paul, little Paul, right? But little, that would have been the same Little anyway. Paul spent his birthday on his own lockdown. He just spent it on his own anyway. <laughs> he said it, not me. <laughs> Five ninety nine. this is. Lewis and I are in Hungry Mice, this one. <clears throat> Oh, look, Paul, they're eating your cheese board. Someone threw a piece of cheese at Paul the other day. That wasn't very mature, was it, he said. Oh. Was it the same lady that stopped you in the street and said she didn't like your muscles? Was it that lady? <laughs> there was a lady in, in where Paul used to live. Not, he moved, he's moved from there. He used to live in the same village as Hannah. And he was just walking along the street one day and in his T-shirt like this. And some woman came up to him and said, I don't like your muscles, mate, like that. <laughs> But in a Birmingham accent, obviously. I mean, Paul does wear T-shirts that are two sizes too small, doesn't he? Yeah. We're not <laughs> going to talk about Paul's wardrobe today. Look, we're supposed to be nice today. I'm being nice today. We've had a good comment. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. It says, from Sharon Hewitt said, Wow, well, never had the pleasure of watching John or Neil before, but I can already see you two are going to be trouble. And who's that from? That's uh, from Sharon Hewitt. Sharon Hewitt? They've been open since March. Th no, when did you open? Well, I haven't been on that often. I, I'm, oh, I'm no. only wheeled in as a last resort. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on. Yeah, it's my first day. Thank you very much indeed. Now, the Lewis Nairing, this is very traditional. Do you know what this is like? This is very like Liberty Garden Gates, isn't it, this one? Very like. It's gorgeous. I'll put it down on the table and step back. Oh, what? <laughs> Uh, do you know when you have these tables made, is there a button to press to make them go up? No, down? no, you have to, you'll have to stoop. It's, I'm stooping as it is, mate. My belly's nearly sitting on the table. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, during lockdown, right, I haven't been to the gym at all, right? I haven't put any weight on, I've lost weight, but I've got this great big fat belly and all these chins and something. All my muscles have all gone. <sighs> Never mind. Paul's the same. 5 99 Lewis Irene, flower buds. Flower buds. You on the what? Yeah, I'll just open that up. There you go. Uh, I think it was camera angle, wasn't it? No, exactly. I'll move it across like that so you can see. Uh, I'd say, <laughs> oh, yeah, my thread. My thread, sorry. I wouldn't put it with red, Kat. No, definitely wouldn't put it with red because it's not red, it's brick. It's brick, I'd call that, or terracotta. In fact, look, look, I'm going to show you the, um, I'm just going to show you, now, can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? Oh, I have to do it flat, okay. I'll just do it like that. Look at the selvage, right? There you go, there's the selvage. They're the colours I'd mix it with. Look, the, oh, the pale greys and the terracottas, pink and the dusty pink and everything. Uh, Chris, always would you, well, if I put it, if I was doing it for Christmas, I'd add some, like, green or gold in or something like that. Oh, yeah, there's the silver. You could put it with silver. Look, because that's silver. This is good, actually, because then it means we can't muddle it up, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, now, this is pretty. This is like a bumbleberry, this one, isn't it? Oh, it is bumbleberry, that's why. <laughs> that's got a sh I can see that shining from here. Okay, yes, it's got a sh sateen. It's called a sateen, sateen finish. It? Shiny. <laughs> sateen finish. Lewis and I, now, oh, they, oh, now it's splash, this is. Not, 
from the Bumbleberry range, the splash. Oh, I know what they did. They've got the Bumbleberry range and then they introduced different versions of it. So this will be the version because num normally Bumbleberry isn't sheeny shiny like that, is it? It's gorgeous, that. Now, this I'd have for dressmaking rather than quilting myself. Oh, do you know what I've been watching on telly? Talk about A-line skirts. It all ties in because Kat was saying she wants to make an A-line skirt. I've never watched it for The Crown. Oh, you wouldn't like it. I've watched The Crown, yeah. Isn't it brilliant? I've only just started series one, right? And I'm absolutely hooked. Anyway, I watched one before I went to bed last night. And then all I dreamt about last night was, what's the woman? Foy, the woman who plays yeah. Elizabeth. Aren't they brilliant? I mean, they are all brilliant. The hot... The ho Claire Foy, that's what she called. And I dreamt about her all night last night. We were moving house, buying a new house and everything. Not together, but I was there with her, you know. The last, the, the last series is the last series, isn't it? They're not doing any more. What, so the one that's about to come out? Yeah, they're going, I think they're going up to Princess Diana. And then I saw, yes, because yes, mm. I saw Elizabeth, Elizabeth Emanuel as a friend of mine. She put on, on Facebook this week, I did not give the pattern for the dress. So obviously she's, you know. Covering herself there. Oh, this is... N oh, oh! Do you remember I said Lewis and Irene gave me a bolt of fabric? One of them was this. I love this. I'm going to put it straight down the table for you. Yeah, it comes in different colourways. It comes in different colourways. But this is all we've got now because it's miss it, miss out. When it's gone, it's gone. Miss it, miss out. God, little Paul and I have said that for about 20 years now, haven't we? Double dots. Five ninety nine. Ah, oh, no, isn't it gorgeous? Go now you know about Lewis and Irene. Really, really fantastic cottons. Lizanne Drummond said, "I'm so excited I could burst." Welcome back, John Scott. Who said that? Lizanne Drummond. Oh, thank you, Lizanne, my love. Don't burst. She said she's so excited she could burst. Don't be a bit messy, especially if you had porridge. Oh, I tell you what, the microwave is really powerful, everyone. <gasps> Put my porridge in for two minutes. It was like eating the glass bowl, I tell you. A few people have said they're really surprised you managed to keep this under wraps. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, we only found out yesterday. <laughs> no, no, how come, Paul? No, because it was only confirmed, confirmed on Sunday. So, anyway. Oh, Lowe's messaged in. Lowe's, what did she say? Yeah, who's the bloke in the blue shirt wearing the O&P silver ring, do you mean? Is that the one? Too late, you missed it. Right, now, now this one here is called Poodle Doodle or something like that. Yeah, because isn't it Poodle Doodle range? But these are the catnaps. These are the catnaps. I'll put it straight down for you. I think De Delilah um, Barrett Moss was feeling a bit left out. She was like, why, why am I the only person who doesn't know who he is? But then she has said... She said he is great. I like him already. My, 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 so you, Delilah. Got a new, new fan, new fan. Oh, thank you very much. So, so, for those of you who don't know, I used to work with Neil and Haley and Little Paul and Cat and everything. I, I don't know if we're allowed to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, we can say the word. Yeah, yeah. We used to work at Sound Course together. It's the, it's the truth. We used to. And then, obviously, Neil and Haley and everyone, Steve, everybody set this up and everything. Uh, uh, and I've come to join them. So, you know what I mean? That, 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 so, if you don't know who I am, I used to work on Sewing Quarter. I'd like to say I was the face of Sewing Quarter. <laughs> No, you didn't like to say it. You did say it quite a lot. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, well, anyway. Anyway, I was the face of Sewing Quarter. And then, obviously, we all went our separate ways. I've just come to join the team. What did you now. do before that, John? How did you get into sewing? How did I get into sewing? Oh, my word. OK. So Hang on. How long have we got? <laughs> yeah, how long have we got? I'll be really quick, I promise, because we haven't got through these. <laughs> Be quiet, Paul. Right, so I trained to be an English teacher. Then I didn't realise I didn't want to do that. That was in Yorkshire. So I went to art school in Wimbledon, learned all about costumes, worked in theatre and TV making costumes, then became a costume supervisor in the film industry, spent 10 years in Hollywood doing major movies like Four Weddings and Funer Funeral, Tomb Raider, three James Bond films, Interview with a Vampire. I think of some more. Uh, anyway, all those big things. Rob Roy. Who, what? Ghost in the Darkness, Ghost in the Darkness did that one. Uh, and then I left there to become the fashion presenter on This Morning. So I stayed there for 10 years. I know I've done a lot in my 40 years, haven't I? And then what happened was I moved up north because my dad wasn't very well. And I started working at Rox & Co, which were in Levington Spa. And that's where I first met little Paul and Kat and producer Hannah. Producer Hannah, right? right? And Jeremy Joe. When producer Hannah started there, I was like to the boss, Cherry the boss, right? I was like... Do not put me with that woman. Do not put me with that woman. Anyway, we're like best friends now, so it's fine. But, and Cherry's having a baby. 
Oh, there's so much happened in the last few weeks, it's incredible. Anyway, so then I was that, and then I've been doing my own stuff over the summer, and now I'm here today. So that's me in a nutshell. Should we get on with, I'll put this one away. Oh, you're not seeing it, oh, sorry. <laughs> Why do you look at it? I do know about fabrics, I do know about quilting, I do know about sewing, so any questions you've got, just ask. I might not be able to answer them, but just ask. Great. Yeah, it has to be, because that cat's upside down. Cat said, is it multidirectional? Yeah. Right, the next one definitely isn't multidirectional, cat. It's called, it's named after little Paul, this. Elegant, that's not the bit that's Paul, single. Single lily, as you see. Have you still not found a girlfriend yet, Paul? In all this time... You're upside down. What? Why has the overhead gone the wrong way round? <laughs> Why? Oh, that's weird. Okay, then. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> Why'd you do it that way around? Oh, we need to get the clocks one back because they all look the wrong time now. Oh, yeah, the clocks, <laughs> but the clocks one didn't look back to front, did it? Oh, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> These are single, Paul, single lilies. I suppose all your, all your uh, speed dating's been cancelled during lockdown, hasn't it? 5 99 half a metre. It's gone all quiet on us now, look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up. Because you must be 40 now, are you? <laughs> not quite 40. Not my 40. He's not my 40. <clears throat> He's what? No, and I'm not giving Hannah a lift in, in the morning because we're coming from different directions now. She comes from her village in Birmingham and I come from my village this side, don't I? Yeah, Hannah's learning to drive, isn't she? That's a terrifying thought. <laughs> well, I know the man, the man in her village kind of gave up on her a little bit. He had to go into hospital with nervous issues when she tried to learn to drive last time. So she got away on one of those super duper courses. In, in Birmingham or somewhere else? Here we go. Have a look at this fabric while I just sit down. Yeah, she'll pass the test and then she'll be like, oh, I've got to buy a car now. Well, she needs to get needs to drive to here, doesn't she? Because it's not the easiest way to get here, is it? Uh, five nine nine. F uh, hang on, green. There's the tiniest <laughs> bit of green in there, isn't there? Oh yeah, move my head, John. Sorry, I keep forgetting. It's nice, that's pretty. <laughs> Another Lewis and Irene fabric there. Beautiful. Well, was that was that Lily's a Lewis and Irene? Wasn't was it? No. I wonder why we jumped to Lewis and Irene again there. Okay, this is pretty. This one. Now this is lighter weight. This is a poplin. This one. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's a nice quality poplin. Oh, that's. Not, oh, now I've got. So hang on. So if it's when I do directional fabric, I have to do it. This isn't. As if you're looking at it. Yes, yeah, if I'm looking at it. This isn't directional, so you're all right. It's not, oh, I like that. Pink flowers on navy. Well, that's what it says on the tin, isn't it? Four ninety-nine. Why, why are you giving them names, Kat? Don't they come with names from the company? No, I know you said you're on the show, but why do you name the fabric? With, surely it's got a name from the shop. No, okay. There's a message from Wendy Orlando. Oh. So Wendy Orlando said, yes. Not sure if the sewing world is ready for John and I working together, though. <laughs> That's going to be a good show. I know Wendy's it? a guest. I know Wendy's a guest. When's she on? When's she booked in for? Uh, oh, I'm off that. We'll day. find out. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh. Oh, uh, one day. <laughs> Wendy is on with John. <laughs> Right, okay, the, 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 normally, I'll tell you now, when the rotor goes out, each presenter gets the rotor with everybody's name on it. This month, Vic's message going, why is there empty spaces all over the rotor? And, and Hayley was trying to tell her that, oh, we're just sending the rotor out to each individual person now. And then Vix did a little bit of, because I can't do Thursdays, obviously. Um, and so Vix had noticed she was on every single Thursday trying to put two and two together. 
And then she, she texted this morning, cat this morning, going, is John there? Did John arrive safely? <laughs> oh. Where's Jay when you need him? Oh, he's having another baby, isn't he? I don't know, is he? Yes. Has he announced that to the world or have you just done it for him? No, no, they, I, <laughs> no I, I, uh, he put a picture of the, what's that picture you put on? Um, the, <laughs> the ultrasound. Yes, yeah. they put the ultrasound, didn't he? Jay, having another baby. Do you not? Why not? Lewis and I in North Pole. Is this Christmas? Oh, no. It's a bit Christmassy, isn't it? North Pole, it's called. Compass. So, yeah, now, who, who, who put you just a list of these? Who's listed these? They put them in the funniest order. I'll have to have a word. Oh, it's you, Cat. Cat. At four ninety nine, these up. Oh, sorry, I've gone a little bit sniffly now. Oh, that's Haley. You can hear in the background, everyone. Are we going to get? We have to get a move on, don't we? Because we've got your things, your special. Oh no, that's falling off again. Is this? There you go. I'll put that down on the table and step back. This is very unironed. Oh, it is ticking. It is ticking. Lewis and Irene, so darling. Mint tickle. <laughs> Mint. <laughs> it's not a tickle. Oh no, and I've left my, my hanky in the dressing room. I'll use this. Anyway, you won't get this. Don't worry, you don't get this one. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. <laughs> Be quiet. <coughs> Not you at home, we're talking to little Paul now. It's ticking, not tickling, it's ticking. Oh dear me, let's put that one away. I'll just put, I'll put that one to one side, because I've... Oh, now. This must be little rabbits on pink, is it? Hundred percent cotton. All right, so we just, we just had a, me a, a message from uh, Rachel at Creative Grid. <laughs> Rachel the Ruler! We love so, Rachel the Ruler. Dear Paul, Neil and the team, couldn't believe my eyes this morning. What a great start to the day. Brilliant to see John back on TV where he belongs. With love, Rachel the Ruler, Matthew and Mum Sheila. Oh, do you know what? I rang Rachel the Ruler recently and she thought I was her husband. <laughs> and she was like, is my tea ready yet then? And I was like, P sorry, pardon? Because like, I'd gone, hi, it's me, thinking she knew it was her husband. <laughs> She was busy looking at the catalogue for new sapphires or something like that at the time. Oh, we love Rachel Rula. I'm going to get her on. We'll get her on. We'll get the whole family on. Sheila can come on. What's her husband called? Paul, was it? No, he's not called Paul, is he? Anyway. <clears throat> oh, this is wide. Well, let me hold it up. Hold it up. 145, this is. That's almost 60 inches. 57. 57 inches. Lovely for dressmaker. Oh, you know what? I'll put it down. Dressmaker for little girls, but also curtains for a little girl's bedroom would be nice, wouldn't they? Looking in the wrong place, aren't they? There's a camera there pointing at me, so I was looking in the wrong place. Four ninety nine. this, for half a metre. Very good price. 100% cotton. Limited sweet bunny. Designed for you by Poppy. Oh, I thought she worked on the other channel, didn't she, Poppy? That's, she, their sister, aren't they? We say that. Their sister channel, aren't they, Poppy? Yeah. Primal screen, is it? No, no. Yeah, so we're part of the, we're part of the Gemporia partnership. So oh, there you go, got, I'm new to this, I don't know this We've yet. got Gemporia, which is the big channel. Yes. Based in the corner. We've got Jewelry Maker. With my friend Adina. Which to is Adina uh, crafting evening, with jewellery. So. And then whose jewelry maker, who's website we say, if there's Primal Cure, which is like health Primal and... Primal Cure, that's it. That's health it. and wellbeing. And but then don't they do cushions as well at some point during the day? Yeah, I think Gemporia do um, homeware and candles. And I do all kinds oh, of I stuff thought, now. Oh, I thought, because, um, oh. So Poppy does health, doesn't she? Poppy's like a s nutritionist. Yeah, so sort of Poppy does the primal, I think, yeah. on Gemporia. Yeah. I thought at one point they were going to do like cushions and things like that, but... Yeah, they oh, do, they have, on yeah. Gemporia they do cushions, oh, okay. yeah. Right, I've seen this one. Oh, flipping heck. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cat, my producer, is just suddenly standing. She's um, um, over a metre away, don't worry. Have a look at this on the overhead. I'll step back. Dinosaurs. I don't know, I did never, I, I was, have I got it the wrong way up? Oh, sorry, oh, I can't do that, look. So Lewis and Irene, 4 .99. Is it multi-directional or have I got it the wrong way up? No, it's, that's the right way up. Yeah. Triceratops. 
Pterodactyl. How sad is what, this? What do Almost. you call a dinosaur with glasses? Hang on, what do you call a what? A dinosaur with glasses. Do you think he saw us? <laughs> is that one of Paul's jokes? We're getting, getting the dad jokes in today, aren't we? <coughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome back, John. You see, it's not only my choice, uh, their choice, if I say, it's my choice as well, you see. <laughs> oh, why? Right, oh, now we've done this one already, but in blue. It's in green this time. Sorry, we're jumping all over the place. This is North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> Kat says it was in a mess like this because she thought she was scheduling for Neil and he wouldn't know the difference. Right, Lewis and Irene, North Pole, compass on Elf! It's facing north this way. Oh, no, they're all going different ways. They're all different ways. When Dio Orlando says, why did you have to tell me I'm on with John next week? I'm too excited to sleep now. Oh, honestly. What's she making? What are you making, Wendy, next week? So, next Wednesday... We don't plan that far ahead, John. No, OK. <laughs> so, so, this month, just so you know, everyone at home, this month I'm doing every Tuesday, every Wednesday and every Saturday. No, because we've already done one week, haven't we? I'm doing 11 shifts. Oh, no, I'm on the, not on the last Saturday of the month. I think it's because Debbie, doesn't Debbie do Sundays? Yeah. And Rebecca Reed does Mondays, so the rest will be shared between me and Vix. For now. Oh, thank, that's good, Cat. Cat's happy with that, she says. How many minutes? We can't, we've got the... Oh, well, the, we, we, you might have to come back. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll... Right, quickly, 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 come on. What I'm going to do is, can I save these new ones until the, the next hour I'm on my own? I'll do that because I've, Neil's got a demonstration he's got to do. So I'll do these two fabrics and Neil can do a demonstration. This is glitter green, 3 99 I have to say, it's like, I, I, I want to say it's rubberized, but it's not rubberized, but it's, it's, you wouldn't use it for clothing, let's put it that way. You'd use it for, for crafts, Christmas crafts, I'd say. So, I mean, if you want to use it for clothing, you could do it because it's nice and soft on the inside there. And it's not itchy, it's not scratchy, but it's... It's got some sort of dressing on it that makes it a little bit wider. Not wider, that's the wrong word. And then last but not least, I love this. This is like, I had a Paul Smith shirt like this, almost identical to this. Say so what? <laughs> Paul Smith. It's a bit Paul Smith, isn't it? You know, <laughs> no, I'd say that. Oh, sorry. It's like a famous designer. Well, yeah, it looks like Paul Smith fabric. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. It looks like. I'm not saying it is. Green and blues, multicoloured stripes. Well, we didn't design it, did we? We're not. Anyway, it's only 3 99 I only came back in stock two weeks ago. Now we're on Miss It Miss Out. 3 99 Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I should have said that. It's a poplin weight. <coughs> Make a lovely blouse, that. Do you know what? It's got... Uh, let me just hold this up. Oh, it's not good for the telly. I wouldn't wear it on the telly, but it's beautiful. Oh, I love that. How, how much of that, how much that have we got, Cap? Oh, have you not got that in front of you? Sorry. Oh, I might get some of that. <clears throat> Where's the warehouse? In the building? It will be soon. Oh, okay. I won't buy it yet, then. Oh, oh. Okay, this is the green and blue. Right, okay. Now, I've stopped. We've only got a couple of minutes. Neil's got a demonstration he wants to show you. Haven't you? Oh, you're going to want me to chop my fingers off again? Well, I've, I've run out of things now, so... OK. Um, I'll move my laptop and my message is on. OK. So, I've done the scissors before, <coughs> but we love the scissors. Right. So, I, we, I actually saw these as a show. It was me that decided to, to ask for these to be brought in, because I think they're absolutely brilliant. OK. Um, have you seen these before? I've seen you do it. I've so watched you, you cut it? up a... Well, I won't tell you what you were cutting up. What? What, uh, cat left me something to cut up, but I don't know where it is. What is so it? So this will do. Yellow PU. It's on John's chair, apparently. We've got some yellow PU fabric. Oh, <laughs> oh that probation. We'll have a meeting after. <laughs> I, I caught it with my face. You're the best place. Go on. So we've got these uh, electric scissors. They're 169.99. Yeah. And they are absolutely amazing. They're very light, yeah. so they're not heavy at all. One thing that someone said last time I had it on, oh, no, well, I bet Neil um, demos that because they're quite heavy, but they're not. They're very lightweight. You could easily use them all day. Right. And these Does are it matter if you're left-handed or right-handed? No, nope, makes no difference left or right-handed. Um, these are industrial, so they're designed to be used eight hours a day, non-stop, 
and just keep going at it. Right. So very high quality. They've got tungsten blades. So a lot of scissors will have like alloy blades or even soft steel, which will be fine to start with, but they'll soon blunt. But these have got tungsten blades, which are, are very sharp. Can you have them sharpened if you need um, to? You can't get them sharpened, but you can just buy new sets of blades. And the, right, new, okay. and the new sets of blades aren't very expensive at all. Right. Um, they come with uh, some blunt blades and some sharp blades, although the blunt blades are sharp enough to go through a cutting mat. Right. Because uh, that's why I cut through a cutting mat. You've got a rechargeable battery, and we've actually never charged this since we've had them. <laughs> so this, I've got the plug down here just in case, but these are still going after, I can't remember how we've had them, we've had them a few months now. They've got a very fast um, open and close rate. I can't even think of a proper word for that, but yeah. which means you can cut really intricate shapes with them. Because if they go too slowly, as you try and grind corners, it'll snag. But these are very fast, so you can cut. And I, th I think we did about 23 layers of cotton, didn't we? So you can go around really tight little corners. So that was just two pieces of uh, cotton. But we, we must say you've got to be careful with these, haven't you? Don't get your well, finger... Well, as with all scissors, you do need to be careful yeah, with them, yeah. um, especially around smaller children that have got smaller fingers. But in terms of your own fingers... <gasps> oh! They won't actually cut through your fingers. How weird is that? So, uh, obviously, I wouldn't recommend leaving them lying around for children or no, no, anyone no, no, else. No, no, and don't sure. intentionally try and chop your fingers off like I do. But they are very safe. So if you're holding the fabric a bit haphazardly... I don't understand how that works then. So it doesn't cut into your finger at all. It, but it cuts it's... right at the actual point oh, where they right. intersect. So your fingers just can't get in enough to be cut. So it's not, they're not like scissors. They're not sharp all the way to the tip. The sharpness they, is in them. They're sharp to the tip, but they only cut where the two pieces meet. So right. you can't chop your fingers off. I've tried it loads of times. Right, okay. So I was a bit nervous the first time I tried it. Yeah, I'm not so nervous. <laughs> enough times not to, not, not to be nervous now. So... It really is like factory cutting out, isn't it? Yeah, this is what you'd use in a factory. So if you're cutting rounds, they can cut round corners. Um, I mean, these haven't been charged for ages, but if you, if you do run out of charge halfway through, you can actually plug them into the mains, which I've actually plugged it in this time. Yeah. So there's a second plug, which... Uh, I've got here, which I've pulled out. Look at me with my cable management. There's a cat. So you can plug this block in and then... Oh, you can use it already yeah, plugged in. Yeah, so you can use it plugged in. So while you're charging your battery, which charges in that little dock, yeah. you can just use it... Uh, so you use it on mains power. I, I suppose it's more for dressmaking, isn't it, than quilting? Because you, your quilting is... Uh, or can you put it alongside a ruler and chop along? You could put it alongside a ruler. I mean, I imagine it's easier with a rotary cutter for modest to do quilting. Yeah. So it probably is more probably general cutting. But you can cut very intricate shapes. Yeah. So you... Oh, I'm, I'm saying dressmaking. I mean, all, all sorts of crafting and things like that. It's fast, isn't it? Yeah. So it's very fast. Um, we thought we'd try it on some different things. So, Dan, if you're watching... No! This is, this is Dan's mouse off his desk, so uh, Dan's very particular over his mouse. Yes, I know, but why would you cut through uh, a wire? Well, just to show you, I, I don't even know if it will, I'm going to try it, but this is the connector that Dan uses to connect his... Uh, don't do this at home. Yep, cut through Dan's mouse. And Dan's always asked if you can have a wireless mouse. There you go, Dan. We've got you a wireless mouse now. So, if you're watching, you've got a wireless yeah, you, mouse. Uh, what day is it? Does he work from... <laughs> he's back, in, some he's back in tomorrow, he's off oh, today. Okay. So we've got him a wireless mouse now. Don't try to do it. Oh, yourself. he's just messaged with OMG. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching. So got your wireless mouse, mate. Uh, we've got some thick... Um, thick PU. 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 So it'll cut you. Oh, actually, Lisa Lamb should get one of those. That'd be brilliant for bag making, wouldn't it? Because sometimes your fabrics... Can, it do, can you do wadding and... and um, Things like that, and like the Bosal interfacing and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, we cut through a... We got an actual cutting mat. Oh, here we go. My lovely assistant. So we got a cutting mat last time. This is a fresh one. Um, yeah, where's the one he's done before, Kat? In the bin. <laughs> they threw it yeah, in the bin. Yeah, I think we should keep it out. Let's go... How long? It's eight, what's half of 18? Nine. Nine. Okay, so let's, let's just halve it. Oh, oh, no. Is it too thick? <laughs> it's going through. Only just... Uh, oh. Does it, in the instructions, does it say what you can and can't cut through? Um, I've, I haven't read the instructions. Okay. So, I don't read the instructions. So, yeah, if you've got a cutting mat that's too big, you can just make it smaller, like that. So... 
<laughs> but I mean, this blade has been the same blade we've had on since we've had it, and this is actually the blunter blade. So that's what um, we cut the cutting mat with last time. Yeah. So, so yeah. two cutting mats so far. That's the blunter blade. You've got a sharper blade in there as well. If there's anything uh, even thicker you want to cut through, but we're doing your cutting blade. I think we did 32 layers of cotton or something like that. But we've wow. we've done lots of cotton before. Thank you very much indeed, Neil. So, You've 169 got to get back to the They want to get rid of me now. Yeah. I will show it again in the 10 o'clock hour and we'll cut a little bit more refinely. Uh, right, have a look at this, have a look at this, because Sally Ann Harrison's coming up to do, these are the two projects she's doing today. This is the first one and it's, it's the um, first one from the book that we've got. It's the first uh, uh, example we've done from the book. Playful pre -cut coming up after me. And also I've got another one underneath it, which you might want to go, look at this. This is Sally Ann's second hour. How cute is this? Can you, is it too close? Do you need to move it? That's more than five seconds, Paul. Don't forget, you will come to you in a minute. Here it is, here it comes, here it comes. So now, all, the, uh, all these fabrics here that I've just done in this hour, they are all miss it, miss out. So please be careful because they're going to go today, at, I think. And then I've got some new fabrics which I'll show you in... Not the next act, Sally Ann's on in the next act, but the hour after that, 10 o'clock, we'll do that. I'm more confused about my time. Anyway, listen, I've got to go. I've got to go. Well, I'm coming back. How long's the break? Or oh, four minutes. I'll see you in four minutes from now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel jewellery makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business, it was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike and they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. 
It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only used the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential Collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. How lovely that Sally Ann's with us today on my very first show. Um, we're going to be getting, she was a bit shocked when she came in this morning because nobody knew. Nobody knew at all. It was a top secret, top secret, top secret. Right, um, have a look at what Sally Ann's making first of all. It's, we've got a still of it here. Look, isn't it lovely? Isn't it gorgeous? It's called the Rose Twirl. It's called the Rose Twirl. Now, it comes from this book. It comes from, no, now. Oh, shut there. I had to see where I had to show it, that was all. Sorry, new to this, my first day. Is that the right place, Paul? Oh, no, I want to show the front first, but I'll do the thing. Yeah. We've got to wait five seconds for the camera. Five, four, three. It's from Annie's Quilting. Now, uh, I have to say, when we were at Sewing Quarter, Annie's Quilting books, you only had to show them, and they flew out the door. They sold immediately. This is called More Weekend Quilting. I'll tell you what we need. I'm just being a bit devish now. I do need that. I need that one of those over there, don't I? Oh, we're getting one. That's fine then. Uh, it's lovely, isn't it? Because I have to look over there to see. You see, that's the problem. Right, I'm going to put it on the desk now and we're going to flick through the book. It comes towards me. Am I in the right place? A little to my right. There you go. There we go. Uh, it's called More Weekend Sewing. It's by Annie's. At, oh, eight ninety nine. Um. Excuse me, there's 25 projects. No, I'm not going to work it out price per project now. It's too complicated. Oh, they're cute though, aren't they? Oh, that's clever. Oh, now. Quilted drawstring bag. Oh, that's nice because you do that with or without the... Without the um, oh, they... Oh, I'm a bit peckish. Does anybody bring cakes in when we work here? Oh, yes, of course. I'll have to put my order in for later. Uh, birds of a feather stick together. Oh, they got, oh, they're on wheels. Oh, they're cotton wheels. Oh. 25, armchair sewing organiser. Oh, I need one of those. I haven't moved off the sofa. I haven't moved off the sofa for months. Sleepy turtle pin cushion. I oh, know, look at me sitting down. It's a bit weird, I feel a bit strange. Uh, fabric bowl and pan covers. Works out at 35 pence a project. I mean, honestly, they're gorgeous. Aren't they? They've even got, they look, they've even got the um, templates in front. Have your cake and eat it too. Well, that's the problem. Oh, Hayley, we should, before Hayley goes home, we should get to go out and get some donuts for us for uh, my first day, shouldn't we? Oh, there, oh she's watching. Uh, she'll come in in a minute. She'll ask us what we want. Safe finger pot holders. Oh, now, you know who's going to like this book, don't you? Um, Hannah, she loves a pot holder. When she was a childminder, nanny au pair in Holland, she kept burning the pot holders and the lady who owned the house said, oh, Hannah, have you burnt these? And she was the only other person in the house. She's like, no, not me. Insulated beverage cosy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is the one we're doing. This is the one we're doing, the rose twirl. Oh, this is a lovely book. I'll, I'll keep going through now. Oh, spring to it. Oh, there's all sorts. Of, that's very Helen Rihanna on that one, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, what what donuts are you getting us? For 
No, because it's at the end of the show. I'll be able to have one that's not gluten free. They've got caramel. They've got. Caramel. How come you know all the d the flavours? Okay, so ca sorry, I'll be with you in a minute, viewer. Coffee, caramel, jam, chocolate. Surprise me, but make sure there's no nuts in it, though. No nuts, no nuts right? Uh, little Paul wants a cup of tea, please. No. I s no, right? Okay, look, let's move on. Let's move on. So, um, to make the one that Sally Ann's made. Have you got, did you use both of them or did you use that one? No, you used this one, this one. Right, okay, so that's the book, that was the book, that was the book. Now this bundle here is the one that Sally Ann has used, right? And you get fat quarter, fat quarter, oh hang on, sorry, fat quarter, I forgot, fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, one metre of, the, that's either cream or vanilla, isn't it, cream, one metre of that lovely, it's called what? Hannah Basic. Hannah, our Hannah is very basic. I can say that because she's not here. Hannah Basic Multifloral. And then that is gorgeous. It's called what? Juliet Roses. Juliet Roses. So you get a metre of that one, a metre of that one, a metre of the cream, fat quarter of the pink dot, fat quarter. Now, I'm not opening these out for a reason because I've got these fabrics for sale by the half metre as well in a minute. So fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter. Twenty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. You don't get the book. You don't get the book. You just get the fabric. So if you if you've already got the book, or you think, oh, I have something in my book already, then buy this as a bundle. It'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Four fat quarters and three meters of fabric, right? That's a lot of fabric, right? This is the other one. This is the other one. Are you using this one to demo with, or are you using the same one to no, demo? I'm using with? That one to demo with. Oh, this is the demo. This is the demo one, right? Oh, this is lovely, right? So you get fat quarter, fat quarter, oh, fat quarter, fat quarter, one meter of you see that's not teal that is not teal uh this one ivory and this is lovely now this isn't hannah basic what was this hannah basics we've had hannah basic khaki so three meters of fabric plus four fat quarters for 23 pounds and 99 pence oh yeah fabrics by the half meter right this is one now oh i won't stand up i'll waft them here now are these in the right order then? So we'll go with this one first, the blue one first. So now, say you love that fabric, you think, oh, I want to do a border of that, or I want to make a project of that one. Well, you can do, look. I'll do them very quickly, because Sally Ann's gagging to get on with her demonstration. Oh, the other difference is, I won't be disturbing her halfway through today. She's going to go through, I'll throw in questions and everything, but she's got a whole time to do it. This is lovely. This reminds me of Winziette pyjamas. That's... Oh, it's from Germany, I think, is it? Tractant Rosen blue fabric. 4 99 4 99 for half a metre. I'll whiz through them, and if you want to see any of them more clearly, then I can always show them again at the end of the hour. They're all, oh, they're all on the website. You can go straight. I forgot that they're all, everything's already on the website. This is pretty. This one, I'm going to show you half, right? This is Now, remember, these are by the half metre. These are not fat quarters. These are by the half metre. This one... It's called Vintage Bouquet of Roses on purple. It's a very, I'd say it was a palm of violet myself, that one. What did you call it? Sorry. Mauve. Oh, yeah, mauve would work. Mauve would work. Then this is the uh, Hannah Basic Multifloral by the half metre, which you've got in your, in your um, bundle. You've got uh, a metre of this already. You want some more? If you're thinking that's not, I've got the perfect project for that. Lovely. Then, oh, well now, now I've got the other one in the, as the other background one, the floral one, the rose one here. Juliet roses in the, with the lovely dark. No, it's not black. It's not black background. It's like, you know, I would say dark chocolate tinted with, uh, flavoured with raspberry. Oh, I've nearly got my shows muddled up then. Because you know I do my show on a Thursday. We're doing uh, white raspberry and, no, white chocolate and raspberry cake this week. Four ninety nine. This far for meter. Four ninety nine. Right now, look at this one. Sorry, Sally Ann, I'll be with you in a second. You could have had another cup of tea, couldn't you? This is nice. Look at this one. I think that's lovely. Big roses on light blue. It's called. I bet Cat named this one, didn't she? Four ninety nine for half a meter. That's very vintage, isn't it? That's lovely. I'm seeing that ruffled up for something, and I can't quite think. Oh, look. Oh, hang on, I can leave it where it is. 
That, no, that's perfect, Paul, perfect. See, I forgot what it was like to work with a professional. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not allowed to give Paul compliments. No, he can't cope. Oh! Well, I'm, I'll tell you in a minute what I'm thinking. This is beautiful. Uh, this is Juliet Roses as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right, and now I just said, when I looked at the bundles, that you couldn't buy the basic, Hannah basic in the green, but it's here. I didn't see it. Lovely. Oh, look at Oh, she's learning, isn't she? Oh, that old cat. It's a perfect blender if you don't want to use a solid colour. Hannah basic in khaki, or khaki as they say in America. Of course, I should be in America right now on my holidays. I'm supposed to be at a wedding. I'm supposed to be giving away Brian at a wedding on a beach in San Diego on the 10th. When's that? Two days' time? No. Four days' time. I'm obviously not going to be there. Shall I just do this very quickly? Oh, this is nice. This is good quality. What's this one, then? Oh, it, oh it's got a lovely feel to it. This is the 80-20 mix. Sell it by the half metre, not in a roll or anything, buy it by the half metre. Six ninety nine for half a metre. Cotton mix, wadding, light and soft blend. It's 244 centimetres wide and you get half a metre for six ninety nine. We cut it off the bolt for you. So if you want half metre or one metre or one and a half, you have to buy it in half metre increments. So you can't ring up and say, I'll have 1.37 metres, please. You either have 1.5 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5, whatever. Right, OK. Now that's enough from me. Sal Talian, you're my first guest on my first show at Sewing Street. I was actually blown away, wasn't I? This morning, oh. I was like, <laughs> "Well, you I just play, you know, you just come for a visit." No, no I'm doing yeah. this show. Haley, not our Haley, boss Haley, but marketing Haley walked in. She went, "Oh, hi, everybody," and I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's lovely to see you. Um, so that's gorgeous. Yep. Would you say beginner? Me, not mediocre, that's well, the In word. the book, they oh. call it Confident Beginner, oh, which okay, I would agree with, I think. Yeah. yeah. Because it actually looks complicated, but actually, it's, it's a nine patch, isn't it? It's a nine patch, and it's just got some half square triangle units. Half. 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 Well, you you're not going to go on about Pam Airs again, are you? Not today, no, but I'll <laughs> tell you what I am going to go on about. If you need any unpicking doing, I brought my. Um, <gasps> I brought my beard trimmer. I haven't got mine. Oh, Sally Ann bought me this as a present, right? Sally Ann bought me this it, ages it's still ago. Still in the packaging. Yes, I don't use it. I only look at it. It's on the mantelpiece. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, so a confident beginner. Yeah. And nine patch half square triangles yep. and then borders really. Yeah. So sashing through the middle. Yeah. And borders. Um, yeah. And how much fabric did you have left over? once you've done the whole of that? Um, quite a bit left over, yeah. I was going to say, because you've, you've got fat quarters of the spots, yep. you've got fat quarters of the little roses and the blue roses, but then you've got a metre exactly. of all the others. Yeah, so you had quite a lot of this left over. Yeah. Um, and I suppose you I could. don't know whether you had, you'd have enough to do the back. I would imagine if you put together what you had left over, you could make a back. Oh, fantastic. It might have to be a pieced back. But I quite like that. Yeah, I do. I quite like a pieced back. Also, if you wanted the rose flowers on the inside and the Hannah basic on the outside you could do that couldn't you you know the, the, the one that you've got on your outside border yes if you wanted that as your sashing yeah you and then you had your over. Hannah basic little flowers you could have that on the outside if you wanted a pale but oh actually what'd be nice as well is a scrappy binding if you if you don't make a backing you can make a scrappy binding from what's do. left over couldn't you yeah or you could even do a two color binding that would look rather oh, yes, cool yeah. because you could use a hint of this Hint of the, the yep, spot, yep. and then just like have that, so it almost oh, looked like a pipeline. Nice. Yes, that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Lovely. All right. So where do we start? What do we do? Okay. So my sta standing in the right place. Right. You're not. You don't need a I'm block not, here, do you? I'm sure I didn't have this much room last time I came. This is like extended amounts of room, but I'll Did try. Did you have more things on your desk last time? Might be. Anyway, you've got just enjoy yourself. Okay. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of these little blocks um, and as you can see they actually feature half square triangle units. Right. Now this quilt and the quilt that I'm doing later on in the second hour 
all feature half square triangle units. Oh, so it's a salient half square triangle masterclass. It is, yes. So to honour that, I actually made up a, a little download. So it, it's called Demystifying Half Square Triangle Units. Oh, OK. And it gives you four different methods to make half square triangle units. Right. Okay. And where did you get that? Where did you get that? So you can get that from my website, sallyannequilts.com. Oh, hang on, we've got a look. There you go, there you go. Demystifying half square triangles with Sally Ann Harrison, www.sallyannequilts.com. I thought your company was called something different to that. Have you got another one? No, it was called Christmas Goose Stitches. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. but now it's just my name. Okay. Well, that's not because it's easier to find that because you're not going to remember Christmas goose, are you? It is if you spell my name right. Yeah, but I'm sure if you just Google <laughs> Sally Ann Harrison, yeah. it will come up, wouldn't it, eventually? Anyway, OK, so they can get that for free, demystifying. So they don't have to buy the bundle or anything like that. Anybody no. can go and get that. Anybody can go and get it. Oh, that's very kind of you. Is it okay. 3 95 <laughs> It's free. Oh, you could make a lot of money out of that, Mrs. <laughs> I'll become your agent. Anyway, go on then. So... so, so that demystifies what we're going to do today. It demystifies. I've lost the page now, haven't I? There we go. There you go. Right. Yes. So there are several ways of making the half square triangle units. So I'm going to cover two in the first hour and then another two in the second hour. Perfect, yeah. So we'll start off with the obvious one, which I'm not going to actually cut up and do, but you just cut one square, cut it in half, and then sew it together, which is and the obvious. And how do you know how big a square to cut? OK. So the, the golden rule is... In all cases, to, to determine the cut size of a half square triangle unit, you need to take the finished size yeah. and add seven eighths of an inch. So if you want a four inch finished size, yep. you cut squares of four and seven, seven eight, eighths. eighths. Yeah. OK. OK. That's it? That's it. Oh, I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated. Huh? And that should give, if you use a quarter inch seam, yep. that should give you a perfect sized um, Four inch square, well, yeah. whatever square yeah. you've chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. Exactly. So that's one way of doing it, and that's the most obvious way of doing it. Yeah. But the only thing with that is you've got bias. If you're new to it, you've got bias. You've got to be aware that when you sew them together, you're going yes. to be sewing down a bias, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. Um, the second way of doing it is to actually draw, and that's what I'm going to do okay. here. So ignore that piece of paper for the moment. Is take your so this for this particular pattern this particular pattern is a little bit strange in its measurements which surprised me right. the the nine patches finish at this block finishes at two and three eighths so you cut it two and seven eighths oh, okay which is really unusual yeah. um so you cut those at, at two and seven eighths it finishes at two and seven sorry at two and three eighths yes and you cut it two and seven eighths these units you cut at three and a quarter. Oh, so really read your pattern before you yes. start. Don't just think, oh, they're all the same size. No, and I must admit, I sort of dived in and thought, oh, those two and seven eighths, they'll be for the triangles. Yeah. But they're not, they're for these. Oh, so, okay. a bit different. Yeah. So you're just going to take two and get the right sides together and draw a pencil line across you the two. You just need to move your head back a little bit, Sally, because we can't see well, it Well, you've got my roots, did you? My no roots. roots. got tiara. Got your tiara. OK. I don't know if you can actually see. There's a very faint yeah, pencil look, line. Yeah, look, if you look on, on your screen there, where it's this programme, that's what everyone at home can see there. Okay. Be straight ahead of you there. Right. OK. So, actually, should we put that in so you can see it a bit better? Yeah. Let's put it in with a friction. OK, I need to tell you. Oh, wasn't that yesterday's um, early bird friction pens? I happened to be watching yesterday. I need to tell you, th oh, I'm leaning forward, dog, come on. A uh, third of the stock of the books have gone already, by the way, just so you know. Not surprising. So this is just a friction, or you could use a pencil. I've been given some of these new pins as well. Pins? These, yeah. Oh, I've got those coming up, haven't I? I've never Put used... Put for them now, but I've got them coming up in my next I've hour. I've not used these before, so... But they feel nice. Right, now, um, so I'm going to have to be a real pain here. Oh right? God. Can you push the square forward? And now, let's go to pin, because what happened was then your head covered the whole of what you were doing. Right. We're all new to this, so we'll get it all right together. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect, like that. Thank you. OK. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew a quarter an inch either side. So the line you've drawn, you've just gone corner to corner. Yep. And you're going to sew what? On the line? No, I'm going to sew a quarter an inch away from the line. Either, on both sides? Yeah. Now, because I've done a few, 
Yeah. Well, actually, I'll, I'll do this one first and then right. we'll chain piece some. So. That's the machine I've got, the 680. Oh, well, that's the machine I've got at the Ooh. moment. Hang on. Got to find the foot. No, no, it's not from here. It's not from here. So you said quarter of an inch either size that line, yep. yes? Yes, John, I am. It says Pam. You're from the same place as Pam is, though, aren't you? Yes, I'm yeah. from Bristol. It was, wasn't it World Poetry Day recently? Because they, they were playing lots of our poems on the radio. I don't know. You don't know. And you don't care, <laughs> frankly. Right. Okay. So, so I'm just going to cut across on that line now. Right. So you're you're cutting on the line that you drew. Yeah, I can yeah. see it now. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to use it to save me getting out a iron. I'm just yeah. going to use a little roller. Oh, now, do we sell the clover iron a, a roller here? Have we got that roller here? On the website, yeah, yeah, no, no, because I've got one at home, they're brilliant. Oh, yeah, I've got the, a little one, I think, down here. Yeah, don't worry, you can use yours. Right. So there would be your units. I'm just right. going to take off the dog ears. Yeah, mind your fingers. Okay. Okay. Right. So altogether, the pattern has eight of those so does it tell you which fabric to you oh no they're all the same they're all the same in that yeah. in each block aren't they so just going to make a couple more in exactly the same way but i'm going to chain piece them through right um for those people who don't know what so does chain piecing so mean? chain piecing means that you just put in one piece after another after another it saves on your thread and it helps a little bit with accuracy because you're not Taking it out, putting it back putting in. Back, lifting the foot, yeah. dropping the foot, things yeah. like that. So. So I'm just lining up the edge of the foot with the pencil line. Mm -hmm. And going across. So the advantage of this one over the just cut a square, cut it in half, yeah. is because you've got two pieces together is more stability in the middle. Yes, and, and it, even though you're still less sewing on a bias, you're not sewing on a cut bias, bias edge, yeah, it's just down exactly. the centre of the stable triangle, yeah. square, isn't it? So I'm just going to put the next one in. Can you see I've just... Oh, that's a nice shot. Where's that one coming from? So a couple of stitches in fresh air, and then the next piece. They're very good, these new cameras. So I would then cut those apart, but you can just leave them and have one complete tail. Oh yes, tail. yes, 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 yes. Would you, if you did like eight together, would you slice them at this point or, cause, or do you leave them, because they'd be like bunting, wouldn't they, when yeah. you've done all of them together, would you then cut them now before you do the other line of stitching or would you just run them through again? I might just run them through again. Yeah. Um, So how's your lovely husband? He's okay, he's working today, he's not here. And your boys? Yeah, they're growing up. Aww. Yeah. Are you at university now? No, no. Um, so I've got one who works for a recruitment company. Oh yeah, Paul, little Paul used to do that. Yeah, big, big clients, yeah. One that um, has got his own engineering business. Oh, they've gone, oh, crikey. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Growing up. Yeah. It's frightening because my nieces and nephews are all in their 20s now and suddenly they've gone from must be even more confusing for a parent you know to mean suddenly you have a baby and then they're, they're a grown adult you have proper conversations and everything yeah always look up to them and go you're not too old for a snack <laughs> oh yes you'll be the shortest by <laughs> yeah, exactly. now won't you oh my my youngest is taller than any of us it's really weird is that the athletic one of them goes running doesn't he that's the older one. Oh, that's the older one yeah no the younger one does is Definitely not, that, not athletic. Oh, he's got your athletic gene. Though. Yes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Little Paul's mum's watching. Hello, Barbara. 
She doesn't like being called Babs. Okay, the current graphic is for the bundle that Sally Ann's working with, not the one she made before. But the one she's working with is the most popular one of the two. Ooh. They're both gorgeous, but I can understand. I can understand it. I like this. I, I like the the blue colour in it. It's yeah, very nice. vintage. And you said about it reminded you of different things. It reminded me of wallpaper. Oh yes, like I a could just yes. yes, yeah. I just oh. see it as wallpaper. get rid of all these little dog ears yeah there's no way of cutting the dog ears off beforehand is there well you could cut them you could cut them like this across the seam can you see that or oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But, but you know like some rulers have like um some creative grid rulers have a corner off don't they so you can all yeah. cut that off my house is covered in these i can imagine my boy said that they've gone to get like a handkerchief or a tissue out of their pocket, pulled it out, and it's like little oh, no. <laughs> bits everywhere. Yeah, well, Kat has to clean after the show, and I have to say she's not, she's not doing a very good job. Oh, it's not Kat, I'm not Kat, apparently. It's Elliot has to do the hoovering. <gasps> I can't imagine he's, because Elliot's quite macho. I can't imagine he likes, well, he thinks he's. Okay, so if we try and lay it out now is yep. in the picture, this is the fun bit. I liked it have you, so have you cut your dotty square, your spot on ones out then? Yes, yeah. I've cut all the other ones, that oh, the yeah, two yeah, and seven yeah. eighths, yeah. So, I'm going to line them all up and hope that we've got more here. So. Oh. Does Elliot make the tea as well as doing the hoovering? Oh. Uh, do we have an espresso machine? Can I have a soya vanilla latte, please? <laughs> okay. Oh, I went to my dressing I'm not moaning, right? I'm not moaning, right? I went to the dressing room this morning with my, with my phone to charge, and I was like, where's the... Because it's, it's, like, it's a proper dressing room with the mirrors and things like that. I was thinking, where, the mirrors are up... Uh, not the mirrors, the plugs are up there. So you plug the plug in, and the wire for your iPhone isn't... isn't they're so high that your phone dangles like this. You can't. It's anyway, I'll have that changed. Are you all right, change, there? Yeah. When I did this the first time, I got that one in the wrong way around. Oh, no. Yeah, so I always lay my blocks out. Sometimes I have a picture right in front of me on the sewing machine, or I try and sort of lay it out so you yeah. can see where you're going. Um. Could you, um, if you wanted to, have the floral as the, where you've got the spot and have the spot on as yep. the, like, petally bits? Absolutely. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Perfect. Right, so now... The now next, what are you going to do? The next step is actually sew it together in rows. So you would sew each one as a row and then join the rows together. Right. Okay. Lovely. So. And they're all obviously all with quarter inch seam allowance, aren't they? Yes, yeah. all with a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to try and chain it through. So I'm going to do two, 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 oh, two, two, okay, and then, then put so them back in position. Oh, okay, you're saying rows, yeah. you're actually going to take them in columns, yeah. as it were. Yeah, just to sort of try and make it quicker. Are the instructions in the book quite... I'm going to have a look. I can answer my own question Ooh. while you're sewing. The books are lovely. It's from Annie's Quilts, by the way. Oh, new glasses. Yes, new glasses for the occasion. What page was it on, Kat? Was it before Donuts? Oh, there it is. There it is. So the design is by a lady called Trisha Lynn Maloney. Brighten up any wall or table by using... Oh, make a lovely tablecloth. Wouldn't it? On a what table? Oh, on a circular table. Yeah, I can right. see it on a circular table with a jug of lemonade, couldn't you? Yes, exactly. <laughs> when we filmed that, did you watch? Did you watch um, ITV? Oh, where do you, where is it you live? Do you live in Somerset, anyway? Bristol, yeah. Do you get um, ITV West? Yes. I was on the news the other day. Ooh. Because I nominated my friend Dulcie for a Pride of Britain award. And oh, she I got saw to that the on Facebook. She got to the shortlist. Because she made loads of masks, didn't she? 
And the what? Was, didn't she make lots of masks? No, what she did was oh. she, she went, well, she did, we did eventually, but what happened was she started off that she saw that somebody in her, in London needed some scrubs and she thought, oh, I'll just buy some fabric and make some scrubs for them. And then thought, oh, I can't really afford to do that because I've just lost my job. So she started a GoFundMe page saying, I'm going to donate them to the NHS. Over £100,000 she raised. Wow. Eight and a half thousand sets of scrubs she and all her costume teams made, right? So she made those and then all my ladies and gentlemen made the scrubs bags and scrubs caps. We didn't do masks to start with and then everyone needed masks. So she's done eight and a half thousand, well, between us, we've done eight and a half thousand masks. Your help, my ladies and help and, and, and um, anyway, look, I'm looking at the instructions. <laughs> Oh, it's us. First instruction, read all the instructions before beginning the program, program, project. Some people prefer to sort of cut it all first, but I'm one of these people. I like to make one block. And check that it and works. And check that it works and check that I'm happy with it, because once you cut it, you know, if you don't like it or you want to make a change, it's too late. Too late if you yeah. cut them all out, yeah. yeah. She brought those donuts yet? I'm starving. <laughs> oh, he's just bringing you one. That's nice. My husband came last time and he paid two visits to Greg's. Who did your husband? Yeah. Gre other, other bread shops are available. Other sandwich shops are available. <laughs> but they're not round here. I mean, we thought... I don't know where that sentence was going then. I've got no idea where that sentence was going. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, we're a, bit, we're a bit out in the in the sticks where we are here, and there's a, a shop that sells a vegan sausage roll, an award-winning vegan sausage roll, and you'll know who I mean. And then there's another takeaway dining with a big yellow arch on it. Oh, nobody's told me about that one. Is it like, is it what you go under the water in? No, not under the water, under the motorway in. Oh, sorry. Oh, other sandwich shops are available. Oh, I didn't know that there was one of those. Yeah. Does Munch come in here at all? Do we have Munch in here? He what? So you've done two, 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 yep. two, 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 two. Now you're just adding the last one yep. onto the last. So I'm just going systematically up yeah. and down the yeah. rows, really. I mean, you might want to go across. It's entirely up to you. You, know, yes. you can do it like one but row. But keep, keep, keep a, uh, keep a method. Keep a method to yeah. your madness, yeah. So the, the graphics that are doing at the moment are the one that the bundle that you're actually seeing Sally Ann using now, where you get four fat quarters, two spot ons, and two rose prints, and then you get three meters of fabric. Oh, sorry, I'm on shot. I didn't really. I looked at the wrong screen then. Um, then you get a meter of the what they call teal. Oh, Paul, that's brilliant there. Meter of the ivory and a meter of the Hannah basic. I can't wait to do a show with my Hannah and say Hannah basic all the time. <laughs> When's she back then? She's been away for weeks, isn't she? Oh, she's having a long break then. Has she been fired? Yeah. I think I know why. <laughs> right. Getting Have we done that yet? Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> Nearly there. <gasps> oh, oh, the, the one, uh, the ticking. Oh, right, okay. You know from the first down, the Miss It Miss Out, you know the Paul Smith-esque, the designer-esque? Um, there's only one metre left of that. Uh, no, I don't need a metre. I need more than that for a shirt, so that's no good. Also, I wouldn't be able to wear it on telly, would I? Because, you know. 
I loved it. When I had the Paul Smith shirt, I loved it so much. When the first one ran out, I bought another one, ran out, I got worn out, I bought another one. Can't wear Paul Smith anymore, not the right shape. That's lovely, that. You've that had one. what, Kat, sorry? Oh, uh, thank you for all your messages, by the way. Uh, they're keeping all the emails for me, and um, Kat's going to send me the live stream that's going down the side of Facebook Live. Is that right? Yeah. Isn't that the one that does funny subtitles? No, no, Facebook Live does. Oh, have you switched it off? Oh. No, no, because I know when... Eh? Oh, that's when it starts. No, no, because I had it somewhere else I worked and all the things that come up. And I think I never said that. Now, if you were at home, would you still only be using the roller or would you be pressing? To be honest, I would still only be using the roller. Okay, no, no, no. Because I'm quite lazy and also because <laughs> once, you've, once you've set it, so once you've ironed something, you put that crease in there and the phrase is cotton never forgets and it never does. Right. Whereas with the roller, it's a lighter crease and oh. it's a little bit more easy to manipulate. Yeah. So yeah, because if you use steam like I do, once you've steamed a piece of fabric, oh, yeah. that's it. You're never going to change the shape no, of you're it not. then. And you might want to manipulate it. If one of your blocks is slightly bigger than the other, whatever, you just want to manipulate it. If you, yeah. haven't, if you haven't ironed it, then it's much easier to manipulate, isn't it? So what I would do is I would start off with the centre one yeah. and I would go in and I, I'm oh, pressing... Put your head, pop your head back a bit for me, okay. sorry. Got my roots again. There you go. No. Oh, you haven't got any roots. I have. My husband said I've got grey roots. Oh. It's because you've got your sparkly head, but we can't see your roots. Right, okay, sorry. Okay. So, so oh. I'd, I'd press them away from the centre. Yeah. And then the same again. So in other words, in the middle band, I've got all the seams. I'm finger pressing them now. Yeah. All the seams going out. Right. So then the next band, I'll have all the seams Seem going in so that they... Um, they nest, yeah. yeah? So just give it a little roll. And then put that one on top of that one. And do you pin, do you pin each of the well, junctions or clip? Or? I would do. I'm going to use some of these fancy pins because I haven't used them before. And can you see I'm just getting them to, the seams to nest. Can I just have a drink of water quickly before you just do it? Sorry. I, bring, I brought my own, because I wasn't sure what the rules were. I brought everything, brought my own bowl to make my porridge. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's fine, I'll take it home. I, even when we were at the old bit, we used to just take everything home with me, before we had... Yeah. Now, I've, somebody's told me a story about that this morning. So if you've got a needle down facility as well when you're doing patchwork, that really does help. So what are you saying? I can't hear you. If you've got a needle down facility and you're doing oh, yes, patchwork, yes. that really does yeah, help. So yeah, do definitely. use it because it keeps it all nice definitely. and firm and in place. Definitely. Ten minutes left of the demo, Sally Ann Harrison, okay. just so you know. Goes flown pie. Pie. Yes. So the next one would be yeah. the way. That would be out. Oh, Barbara says hello back. That's nice. Thank you, Barbara. She's love to see you on Sane Street, John. You haven't. Is she um? Is she still doing things to the WI? Because last time. Oh. Barbara set her own, what am I allowed to say? Set up her own business. Free motion embroidery bowls. Nice. <laughs> I'll say it in my hour. Remind me in my hour. I want to see a picture in the break.
So I'm trying to get away with without pinning, but just to make it a bit quicker. But if you're if you if you still if I I see if I was making it, I'd still pin because yeah. I'm not as a confident so not so of a quilter as you, past piece piece so as you. So um. Okay, this is the top. Oh, is this Elliot with the cakes? <laughs> oh, nice. No, brought one, one, one cake for Cat. Honestly. You haven't had a shout out to dogs. You usually, I can remember the number of shows I did with you when you had a shout out to dogs at home. Oh, I think we've had we've had so many messages today. <laughs> it's been uh, they, Neil had Neil said, "Oh, I'll come on with you and I'll read out the messages." And he just looked at his machine. And he went. Oh, I can't read these out. There's too many coming through now. Cat's got a puppy now. What kind of puppy is it? Oh, that's what that's what Scruff is. That's what Judy's dog is. They've got they have issues, miniature schnauzers. Oh no, Paul, put your issues into the shade. No. They're gorgeous dogs, though. You'll have a nice time. I had a dog to stay. Ripley came to stay for two weeks. Oh, we had the best time. And she's still sulking. She's back back to London now. Because when she came to stay with me, we had a routine and we'd go have breakfast and we'd go out for an hour and a half rock run in the woods and the fields, come home, she'd have a sleep, she'd have her lunch. What have you had? Anyway, I've decided I'll get a dog when I, if and when I retire, because there's no way I could have a dog and leave it at home all day. I just wouldn't be able to do that. At least with the cats, they could let themselves in and out and do what they wanted to do, sort of thing. But could, you couldn't do that with a dog. And also, it's lovely because it gets you out walking. And also, everyone talks to you when you've got a dog. Everyone says hello when you've got a dog. If you walk on your own, everyone ignores you. But walk with a dog and everyone chats. So what I do now is I go for walking with the lead and the poo bag, because like that, so everyone thinks I've got a dog. <laughs> And everyone says hello to me. <laughs> Don't they wonder where your dog is? No, no, because she used to. They used to rip me running in the fields. Oh right, okay. So they used to see you stood there on your own. <laughs> but what I find very odd, and this isn't a very nice story, but what I find <laughs> odd is that grown-ups will stand who've been walking their dogs, and they'll be stand using their, and you stand chatting, and you're holding on a, a used poo bag sort of thing. You think this is so <laughs> weird, having a general conversation with somebody, and you're holding a bag of. Dog Yeah, you only get everyone knows you by your dog. Oh, it's Ripley. Oh, hello, Ripley. No, John. Here, up here, John. Well, no, but other people stop me going, oh, John, I didn't know you had a dog. I saw her in the window of your house. I'm like, what are you doing looking into my window? <laughs> Do you miss her? Oh, yes. Yeah. It was really weird the first three nights. Because I know Ripley, because I stay at that house when I'm in London and everything, but she's never stayed over at my house, but she's been to visit for the day. So the first three nights, I just thought, oh, I'm not going to cope with this. She was yelping and yowling and scratching the door. And then suddenly, on the Monday morning, she was suddenly at home, and we just had the best time. I loved her. Is your iron on? No. Oh. Just now. Okay. So I would give her a press at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks gorgeous in this fabric, doesn't it? Oh, look, 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 look. Very popular, this colourway. Right. 23.99 for that bundle. You get four fat quarters and three metres of fabric. Lots of fabric. So I'm just going to set the seam. Yeah. And then I'm going to flip it out, if that makes sense. Why did you do the second one first? Because I'm sort of do doing, doing it from the centre. So I'm oh, going to okay, put okay. both seams going out from the centre to yeah. the edge rather than having them... Do you know what, as well, if you didn't want to quilt, because not everyone wants to quilt, you, they, that would make four really lovely cushions, wouldn't it? Oh, it would, yeah. So you could use the, the blocks as your cushion front, do the sashing as, like, the border, and then use the other fabric for the, for the back, because there'd be plenty of it to make the backs, wouldn't there, of the yep, cushions? absolutely. So I'm going to do the same this side. I've got one a little bit twisted in there, but we'll, we'll ignore him. Oh, now Kat's having an idea that if you've got your book and you haven't bought the bundle and you've got a stash, she would do spring, summer, autumn, winter. Or what? 
Oh, four different things. I thought she was correcting me then. Okay. Never. Just try it. Oh, oh, Baffa's, Baffa's messaged in. Oh, Becky, hi, Becky. Becky Ellis on the frost, the bag designer. She said what? Lovely seeing you back, like young man. She don't know who she's talking to. <laughs> they're having a house party. Oh, because they're so excited. Is Ginger there? Ginger Ninja, is he there? So that's Becky's husband, Beth, Beth's husband. Ginger Ninja and the two kids. Right, sorry, Sally, come on. OK, so, there we go. Oh, it looks gorgeous. So oh, I'm sorry, sure. flip it back over. Just flip it back over so we can see it from the camera upstairs. There, oh, it's lovely. And if you wanted to, you could almost fussy cut that centre square. Oh, that would be a good idea, to, yeah. You know. Anyway, you that's gorgeous. What were you so, going to yes, say? Sorry. So, that would be one of these. Yeah. And then you would add... I haven't cut it to size, oh, no, but just worry, to give you... How many minutes have we got left, Paul, of the demo? Oh, three minutes. OK, right. so you, you would just sash it, and she gives you the instructions to sash it. But now she, you've got to... So you've got squares in some corners, but not on the midway corner. Do you see what I mean? So you've got you've got a, a cream or an ivory square in each corner and one in the centre. Yep. But you've not got one at the other junction. Do you see where they in the middle? Am I not explaining myself? Yeah, yeah I know exactly what you, yeah. what, what, what you mean. So, and I, I, I particularly like that I do, like I've d designed a beginner quilt and I use cornerstones like that. Because cornerstones, it, that's yeah, what it does. It helps you keep it square. If you had that just going across there and that into yeah. there, it doesn't square up as well. If you use cornerstones, it helps with the square. Could of you, the quilt if you top. wanted to, put one here and one there and one like at the north, south, east, west position? Oh, could, here. Yeah. Yes, you could do. That would look nice too. That would look good. Yeah. Yep. The graphic you're looking at at the moment is for the bundle that you're seeing up on the wall at the moment. So and yes, you so you would make two and sash them. Yeah. Another two and sash them. Yeah. Then you make the sashing that goes across the middle. Yeah. Join it then in rows, three right. rows, and then put the outside borders on. So, so they're not they're only called sashing if they go between the blocks. Yeah. So the one that goes round the this first is, outside, the that's first a border. border. Yeah. And that's got cornerstones in it yes, as well. Yes, it has. Yeah. And then, so are all the measurements for all of those borders and cornerstones in the book? Yes, they are. But I mean, there's nothing to stop you. You could make the wider border if you wanted. Well, no. Or yeah, you yeah. know, you could play around with it. And as you say, you've got fabric left over, so you could, if you didn't want a whole block of the, the border going down, you could put another cornerstone but in the middle if you wanted to and things like that, yep. or patch it or something. And then um, you would, we talked about making a back, and possibly a pieced back. Yeah. You'd layer it up. And then quilting it, you could, well, there's lots of, you could just cross hatch it. That would work quite well. Oh, yes, yeah? that'd be nice, yeah. Um, in the book, she's done, a swir she's done a swirly one in the book, hasn't she? Oh, of course, um, now I need it to open on the... Yes, she has. That looks like it's probably come off a long arm. It's like a, oh, yes, that's like definitely a standard a long arm pantograph. Point, yeah. yeah. So, but if you wanted, you know, you have free motion. Yeah, but sometimes it's nice to do cross hatching, but sometimes yeah. it is nice to use. Because I've got Jane Alcott made me the most gl glorious log cabin quilt. But it's um, Amanda then, a long arm quilt, and it's swirly. And I love the juxtaposition of the straight lines and then lovely, lovely swirls going around. Yeah, it. Amanda does some lovely stuff. She's done stuff for me. Oh, yes, yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Right, anyway, Tat Sally, thank you. You're back in an hour. Uh, well, yep. Where are you going to be doing... Just, would you just hold that one up for us? Yes, because I love this one. Here it is. Oh, we've got a still of it. Sorry, there you go. There it is. Look at this. Well, hold it up so you can see the size of it. Look. It's just... Stay there, Sal. That's it. Oh, gorgeous. So you're back in the now to do that. Yep. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, it's like we never went away, isn't it? We're back into it now. Right, OK, then. So the book. I have to hold it this way. Put it there. Half the stock of the book has gone already. There were a lot of them. I need to tell you, there were a lot of them. Well, I said to Kat, is it a brand new book? Because we've got so many. Because it's normally... And she said, no, it's reordered. We've got loads of them. Uh, 8 99 8 99 for Annie's, qu Annie's Sewing more weekend sewing book with 25 projects didn't we work out 39p a project 35p a project that's a good little buy. and also i don't want to talk i know you've done because i've seen a christmas tree here you've obviously done christmas shows and everything it's not long till christmas we're in october oh pardon can you have it delivered straight to friends houses oh no we'll find that out that's cat just having a suggestion we'll find out if we can do that first of all Anyway, so that's that. That's the book. Now, the bundle that Sally had made the one out of on the wall there, that's this one. So you get a fat quarter of green. Am I all right? Put them here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fat quarter of green, violet, blue, and the pink spot on. 
and then you get the um, cream ammeter, Hannah Basic Multi Floral ammeter, and then these gorgeous, are they, they're not Juliet roses, are they? Oh yeah, Juliet roses, I was right, I was right. See, you should trust your gut. Anyway, look at all that. All of that, 26 pounds and 99 pence. That's the one that Sally did make. The one that she, I can't have worded myself in the break because you want to word me in the break. And then, and then this is the other bundle. So you get a metre of the Hannah Basic in khaki, a metre of the ivory. They call this teal. It's not teal at all. They're a metre of each of those. Then you get this fat quarter, that foot, I love these, that foot quarter. You know. <laughs> fat quarter, fat quarter, four of them. 20, uh, 23. 23.99. I think that might be a mistake. I'll have to have a word with Hayley. I think it's a mistake. Take advantage. Take advantage, though. 23.99. Then what one? This has been the most popular, so if you want it, check out. Now, remember, I'm not going to go through... Oh, I've got time to go through them all. I've got these fabrics. Right, OK, so let's just do three of them then. Right, this one, first of all. Well, you know what they are, Cap. Okay, so there's that one by the half metre. Oh, beautiful. That one's called Juliet Roses in rose pink. It's funny because they were also called Juliet Roses, the little ones, weren't they? It's a different print. Big roses on light blue. And... Ooh. No. No. This one, I love this one. Oh, this is an unusual name, isn't it? Are you any good at German? No, I'm saying it's German, it might not be. Trachten Rosen. I think that means roses, something roses. 4.99 for half a metre. Oh, they're all below us on the website. You don't even have to know the name. Just go to the picture you like and click on that on the website. What are we doing next? Oh, I've got to do the electric scissors. Oh. Uh, I've got tools and I've got all sorts of goodies to show you. So we need to set up the John Scott Haberdashery shop. We will see you in four minutes from now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle Channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com.
If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello everyone, I'm Darlene Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Just tidying up. Cats put everything out beautifully and I'm like going, I'm doing what, I, I used to work with a presenter, we used to have to share a, a dressing room, right? And if I, if I didn't know he was coming in and I'd put my stuff out and go like this and just push, oh, push all my stuff off the end of the desk. Long time ago now, long time ago. What's that? Hey, I'm just looking what these things are. I have to wear my glasses. Right now, if you are watching on Facebook Live, is this Facebook Live? No. I'm on the community. If you're on the community, like Claire Roberts has just messaged in saying, you've made my day, Sewing Street. Thank you for bringing John back. I can't believe I've got to go out later this morning. I can catch up later. Congratulations. Jenny Orr says, this is hilarious. I dare not stop to make my breakfast. Well, it's a bit late to be having your breakfast, Jenny. Absolutely fabulous to see you back. Juliana from Guernsey. Oh, that's lovely. So, oh, oh but hang on. Where do people put their comments then? Because there's not very many comments in. I've just received the... Right, who's Sue? Who's Sue? Right, I've got one from Sue. I won't say you soon. I've just received the email and I'm jumping for joy. So good to see you back, John. So is, where's, has there an email gone out then? To all the customers as well. Oh. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm, on, I'm on community, but I've only got the, the, ne the next message down. is 22 hours old. Anyway, I'll, don't worry. I'll... Right, I'll put it here, I'll put it here because I'll, I'll, I don't want to disturb the hour. Um, if you want to get a message through, send it to the studio because now it's quietened down a bit. Have we got the slide, Paul, please? Is that possible? Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Send an e-message in there. We didn't read them all out earlier because poor old cat was like, oh my goodness, there's hundreds, there's hundreds, there's hundreds. It's gone a bit quieter now. So if you want to get a message in, that's the best way to do it. I think your first message should be, could the tables be raised a little bit? Because if, if you send that in, they'll listen to it. And they won't listen to me, you see, because it's only my first day. Right, these are fabrics that we did have in Miss It, Miss Out, but we didn't show them because we ran out of time. But also, they're not Miss It, Miss Out. They are absolutely brand spanking new. So... Um, I'll go in the order that they are in. These are very fresh, these are. This is lovely, right? 
So this, how much? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine for half a meter. It now it feels. Uh, it feels like a. Um, I don't know, how, how do I say this? I'm, I'm without, I don't want to sound negative. It's a lovely cotton, but it's between a poplin and a quilting cotton, I'd say. I'd say it was more poplin than quilting. But lovely. It's beautiful. I'll put that down because if I move it around, it might go a bit. Right, keep my head back. In your own time, Paul, because my back's hurting. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. It's cool. I'm sorry if you're watching on a big telly, that will have made you feel a little bit sick or fall off the sofa, wouldn't it? Tiled up blue fabric. I've not been tiled up for ages, me. Do you know what? I've still not had a drink. Still not had a drink. It'll be two years on New Year's Eve, two years on New Year's Day that I haven't had a drink. So, because obviously we had, um, when was Vix's wedding? That was a year ago, wasn't it? So I didn't have a drink at Vix's wedding, didn't have a drink at Cherry's wedding. Um, and so I've been through all of those, not had a drink. I've been through the blooming whole of lockdown. And I tell you what, next to my back door, there's the, my wine and champagne fridge, right? Which is bursting because people still buy me wine and champagne as gifts of thing. And a, a few days I did look at it going, oh, but no, I haven't had a drink. I did have, I did have a lot of coffee. I've got a new Nespresso machine for my birthday uh, and a milk frother and everything. And um, I had a lot of cake this lockdown. That was what got me through was cake. Anyway, anyway, this is beautiful. Have another look at that. Oh, crazy Lorraine. I'm sorry. I, I've been chatting crazy Lorraine over the last few days. And I thought, I can't tell her. I can't, I'm not allowed to tell her. Well, actually, it was only firmed up. When Neil put that message on Facebook saying, oh, I'm on on Tuesday. I've got a surprise for you. That was when we all knew it was definitely going to happen. So there. So it's that close. It's that. Right. Lovely. Anyway, crazy Lorraine said best surprise ever. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Someone's ma messaging with no name on it going, please raise the table. Lovely to see me back, but we don't know who you are, no name. On an email. Surely you could just... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, I like this one as well. Now, this one feels like crafting cotton, this one. Even though they're the same range, this one feels, uh, this one feels a little bit um, heavier. 100% cotton. Tiled. Oh, this is from the tiled up range still, but it's blue floral, this one. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I like the dark blue and the pale blue together in that one. Oh, thank you. The thing is, right, the thing is, <clears throat> we've had hundreds and hundreds, and I'm very, very touched. I really am. Hundreds and hundreds are saying, well, you're back where you belong. We, th thank goodness you're back. Thank you, Neil, for getting John back. I'm not back, it's a whole new, it's a whole new, we might have the same blooming wall that isn't a wall. It's not a wall, it's not a wall, right? We've got the same wall, um, got the same producer and director, same office. Oh, there's new people in the office, oh, there's nobody new in the office there because a lot of them work from home, don't they? Um, and Elliot, I knew Elliot from Rocks and Co, he wasn't at um, saying, saying quarter. But, um, so I'm not, I haven't come back because it's a completely different venture. Completely different venture, isn't it? Anyway, shall we move on from this one? But it's very nice to be here. What? But they're all tiled up. This one has no, no name. Oh, Catherine, thank you, said raising the tables. Oh, I knew it's good quality. It's made in Japan. Fabulous fabrics come from Japan. Hide back. The thing is, you see how baldy you are on the top when you lean forward like that. Oh no! Actually, oh no! There it is. There's a bit baldy there, isn't it? <laughs> Four ninety nine for half a meter. Oh, Cat's got a double crown, so she will never be standing here putting her head forward. She says. Nice, that one, isn't it? Just called tiled up, that one, for some reason. No tiles, no nothing, but it's called tiled up. Da, 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 da. We don't need a camera to see your bald spot. Paul. Well, you're not bald, you just shave your head. Paul's looking very good, everybody, by the way. Yeah, looks very well. Okay, don't get used to it, he's not going to get compliments every day. There we go. He's producing tomorrow. 
Oh, Cheryl, you can't wet yourself because that's wet yourself. Wendy's job to wet herself when I come on telly. She said she nearly wet herself with a surprise. I, a, a lot of people are saying they can't believe that we actually kept it as a surprise. But that's because we didn't know. <laughs> I think if I'd known for a while, I think I might have lit out the back. I'm doing 11 days this month. So it's uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Do what? Ah, oh, thank you. Lovely. I'll look at all your messages later, I promise. Thank you. This is nice. The red. It's the same as the blue one we had earlier, but in the red now. This is nice. This will make a nice blouse. Actually, uh, I'm, you know, I shouldn't really talk about when we're at Sewing Quarter, but we did a pussy bow blouse made of a fabric very similar to this, didn't we? They're all still on. They're still all on YouTube, though, aren't they? The people can still watch us on YouTube, yeah. I mean, I, I, there's no point in hiding your past. We're not pretending that never happened. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, gorgeous. These are all the brand new fabrics from today that I had, didn't have in the first hour. Oh, I did have them in the first hour, but we talked too much, so we couldn't show them. Right, OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put those to one side there. Right, where would you like me to go now? Oh, let me show do the early bird again so I can do the fabric, right? This was Neil's early bird from today. Been very, very popular. You get half a metre of the snake skin. It's not called snake skin, but I, I would... Well, is it snake or alligator? Because they have the, the nobbles, don't they, on their backs, alligators. But anyway, you get half a metre of that. You get half a metre of the blue and half a metre of... That's white, isn't it? That's a definite white, that one. Bright white. We, in the old days, we used to call it optical white, that one. So white, blue, and the pattern. Half a metre of each, 9.97. That's a, hang on, for a metre and a half of fabric. Oh, that's good, that's good, a metre and a half of fabric. Early bird special. The fly. But they're not here. Oh, over there, I can see them over there, yeah. You didn't put them in the shop, that was all. But I've got nothing to cut with them. I'll just show them. I'll just show them. I'll just show them. I mean, if I get time, I'll cut later. I'll just show them because these Neil showed, already showed you how to do these. Oh, now, do you know what? He's right. They are, they are very, very lightweight. Also, ergonomically, de oh, hang on, where, 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 there you go. Ergonomically designed look because there's that, so they naturally just sit. Oh, it's not plugged in. Oh, and I see what he means. The blade, I'll just do it that way. The blade is there, look. So where, where are you going to cut? I would not suggest you do what Neil did and put your finger in there, but he was just proving a point there. So £169, you get the scissors, you get the charging unit, you get an extra battery, do you get the screwdriver? It's all this come with it. Oh, yeah, second set of blades. A blade and B blade. Why would you want a blunt one? Oh, no, well, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. When you arrive, when they get them, they're both sharp, are they? Oh, now that's interesting. So one is classed as a blunt blade and one is classed as a sharp blade. What's this then? Oh, that, that's what that goes in, in your, in your plug. I've got that for my shavers when I do my shavers and my, um, zzz, what's that thing called? Electric toothbrush, electric toothbrush. What did you call it, Paul? Oh, no, the beard trimmer's still in its packet. I've, well, I saw the one where Neil cut up the um, mat, cutting mat with it before. Right, I'm just going to see. You've what? Denim jersey lycra. Oh, I'd be a bit careful cutting lycra with it. I'm just seeing why it's saying it's got a, why has it got a blunt and it doesn't say. I'll find out for you, though. I'll find out why you need a blunt one and a sharp one. I'll find out. I'll find out. Anyway, hundreds, they, 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 uh, I don't know how that... Oh, here you go. Oh, OK, I'll say that again. So A, which is the one that's in there at the moment, that one is for carpet, cardboard and PU. 
And then the blunt blade, the B blade, for what? Soft plastic. Oh, so where's the fabric one? The fabric one must be the sharp one. Anyway, I'll, 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 I, before I do it next time, I'll do a proper, proper, full-on thingy because I didn't know, but I don't know about it. So I'll do that next time. Right. Dunk. That's not for sale. That's what I keep my glasses on. Yeah, no. You want to do what? Oh, the fat. Uh, now I saw something. Doesn't this fit 158 fat quarters in it? What's that noise? That's what? Oh, it was upstairs. Sounds like it was out there. Who's that? Who lives upstairs then? Oh, oh, oh you mean... Oh. I thought it was through, that was through there. Oh. Can you hear that at home? Oh, okay, you won't be hearing it. Let me know if you can hear it. It sounds like thunder. Right. How many fat quarters did you say? It doesn't say it on it. It's a fat quarter bag, 46 by 25 by 17. They're the centimetres. 18 by 9.8 by 6.7 are the inches. Unique dust-proof fabric storage bag. Stacks and stores easily. Ideal for storing fibre art products. Outstanding see-through lid. Where does it say that then? How many? I haven't got 198 to try, have I? I saw back... Now, did Bex Reed have this on the other morning? She did, didn't she? And I was watching, right? And she'd, she'd got... Oh, it must have been yesterday. When did she do friction pens? Yesterday or the day before? Oh, no, it was, no, I saw, I saw whatever day Bex Reed was in last, and she did the friction pens, and then she put the iron flat on the, t on the mat like that, and then she started talking about this, and then she went, oh, no, I've got to do the menu first. Came back to the menu, and she still had the iron flat on the thing, and I was like, oh, no, it's going to stop burning. Then when she came back in the next shot, it was gone then, but someone noticed. Oh, I like this. Now, these are normal. How much is it? Ten ninety nine. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I was about to say, normally these are quite flimsy, aren't they? The ones we've, you've seen are quite flimsy. Uh, these, you can take these out, look. Because you could put bolts of fabric. You see, what I would do is I'd buy fabric by the half metre, like the Liberty fabrics and things like that. And then they just sit in the in my new office. I've moved my rooms around. My princess bedroom is now downstairs. And the upstairs room that was my princess bedroom is now my uh, office and study and everything like that. Um, why was I telling you that? Oh, yeah, in the corner, there's an Indian chest and I keep all my fabrics in there. This would be perfect for that because you've got your see-through top that you can see through. Like that. Um, and how lovely. And then these are, these are good sturdy ones, aren't they? Good sturdy ones. Oh, that's nice. That's brilliant at 10 99 That'd be a lovely Christmas present. Well, I won't go on about Christmas too. Oh, oh, and look here. There's even a side pocket. Can you see that? You might because it's dark. Side pocket, look. And it's, no, I don't think it's the, the camera. I think it's because it's so dark in there. But look. Which one? Why? Who's it from? Bernadette? Is that her email address? Bernadette, you're funny. And Paul says he'll take your number down. Oh, she says the new boy's doing really well. I'm more happy about boy. What? Oh, keep the new boy. I, I, I'm more happy about boy than I'm about new, but there you go. Right, next. Waddings. Which one would you like to do first then, Kat? Or you follow me? I've got king size, 120 by 120, 80, 20. Okay. Oh, now this is like the one I was showing you earlier, the one we sold by the half metre. But this one's actually already a king size, 120 by 120 inches, which is 304.8 centimetres squared. Uh, really? A cat saying to everyone knows that's three metres by three metres, in case you didn't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is 8020. This is the one that you'll find most people use for quilts. Also, when you're making a quilt, when you've done your top, you need your, your 
wadding to be slightly bigger because when you start your quilting it'll all cinch in a little bit so now this is really good because this is washable I'm, I'm, now i'm going to double check it's been a while i'm kind of going to on my automatic thing there uh 80 20 needles went free exceptional resistance here we go um all right what what notes have you got then i'm sure it's washable Oh, yeah, it's more loft and less weight than traditional ones. Um, if you're using a washing machine, wash it in tepid water. A 15-minute wash is sufficient. That's if you're washing it on its own, to start with. Once it's in the quilt, it'll go, it'll cinch. I like it when you get a quilt and you then um, wash it. It kind of tightens up a little bit. Um, oh, it says on the, put it in the dryer. We'll put it in the dryer. Oh, it's every four inches, this one. This one's every four inches. So on different, on different battings, you will see what they advise you how because sometimes if you're just going to do lines this wide this one won't be very good they're advising for uh, the m the most between the lines for um, no not the most the minimum between the lines four inches you can go smaller if you want to but don't go any basically it's saying you can go four inches or if you're doing a 12 inch then this one won't be quite so good i'm not explaining myself properly when you do the linings of sewing of quilting sometimes people do lines really far apart like that you need a batting that says 12 inch apart this is four inch or otherwise apart don't do any wider than that right got there in the end no no you don't need to use it for a king size queen you can have it in your stash of this and cut like like for example where's sally's next project here Right, if you're doing this project, right, this is Sally's next one, you could use it for this, and all you'd do is you'd measure that and you'd cut like two inches bigger all the way around. Just chop it off the corner of that. And of course, when you can always um, put batting together. You don't sew it together like a seam like that. You bat it together like that and do a big zigzag stitch across it so that it uh, butts up edge to edge and everything. I'll put Sally's next one away. I think that's really cute. I think that's a panel, isn't it, that one we've got there? Yeah panel one of our exclusive patterns right okay 37.99 that is that's good to have in your stash and remember it's only 3.95 post packaging so it doesn't matter if you buy something little like this or you buy something big like this because you know normally you go to the post office and vicky the post office just goes oh that won't go through letterbox do you know what i sent well but do you know what? i sent um i had to send a poster through the post this week right no, last week a week last week I had a competition on my show, right, and the, uh, there was £400 worth of goodies that you could win. And one of them was a big signed picture of me, like this big and everything. And I, I put it in one of those, like, poster rolls. Got to the post office, Vicky was like, it's four inches too long, that. So I had to sit outside the post office, because there's only one in, one out, with a pair of scissors trimming four inches off this cardboard tube to then put the end back on, because it costs more money. It's the same weight and everything, but it just costs more money. No, no, I didn't cut my picture. I just cut the, the tube that it was in. Right, do you want this white one next? This one is non-allergenic, king size, same size, but this one looks like it's all polyester. Oh, this one's got no writing on the top. It's got a down-like softness. Machine washable. Oh, there you go, machine washable. $29.99. It's what's what? Oh, it's got a soft fear and a lovely drape bit like Paul oh it's good for hand quilting this I I um, I think these are like when you go quilt as you go they're nearly always polyester ones aren't they and things like that I'm one it's a choice it's total personal choice. this is much lighter even though it's the same size as that one right the 80 20 this is so much lighter than that one so I like a good heavy weight on <laughs> no that's wrong I like my quilt to be nice and heavy like my duvet don't like a lightweight duvet i'm wondering if this one would be a bit too flimsy for me good for wall hangings that you've not got to put on your bed you know what i mean don't want the weight on the nails on your wall oh what oh it can be machine dried as well doesn't it melt in the tumble dryer obviously not there are there will be oh here you go here's some instructions what temperature maximum oh four inch i thought you were talking about the temperature in the tumble dryer it's 100% resin thread, white polyester. Yeah, there's nothing else there. You can look on the website for all the instructions. There you go. Right, let's do the last wadding and then it's... Oh! This is the same size again. Now, obviously, this is more considered, 64 dollars This is wool. 100% wool. 
washable wool. Now this is fantastic because in the winter it keeps you warm and in the summer it keeps you cool. Right, it's lightweight and breathable, but it's, uh, oh yes it is, it is, it is, it is. It's lighter than the 8020. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? Now the one thing I would suggest in this one is if you're making a white quilt, if the background of your quilt is white, I would go with the polyester because it's white. Because if this was to pull through, you'll definitely see cream if it pulls through on your stitching or anything like that. But a wool, this is like a traditional wool. It maintains its loft even if you wash it and everything. Maintains its loft. Exceptional resilience. That's a bit like Paul as well, isn't it? Finest superwash wool that Hobbs do do. Now, it is considered, but it's worth it. It's worth it, it's worth it, it's worth it. Definitely. We just like to, uh, and also, they're not the only three we do. If you go to the website, there's, well, actually, wait till Friday. When's the, new, when's the new website ready? Oh, no, it's the 15th, isn't it? 15th. It's fine. I'm, I'm not going to slag them off because they're doing a brilliant job. But, but you know what I mean? It's not easy. to. I had to ring Hayley and go, where do, where do I go for this? Where do I look for that? Where do I do this? So, anyway, it'll be better on the 15th. And also, what about split pay? Friday. Friday. I don't know any details. I only heard it when you heard it, when Neil mentioned it earlier. But that's going to be fantastic. I'm not in on Friday, so that'll be Vix on Friday. But I'll be in on Saturday, telling you all about it on Saturday. Oh, yes, this one. I've got this. Back it. Well, I bought it when well, from the other company. Look at this. 50 spools. No, but look, look at the price. They're a pound a spool, and that means that, that this, this box here sells for, four, I don't know if we sell it anymore, Fourteen ninety nine. that box sells for normally. Yeah, we, it's Hemline. Well, now, if you went to Hemline and you bought this box, it's Fourteen ninety nine. just so you know, just so you know. And then look at all these. Now, these are embroidery machine threads, right? So these are fantastic if you've got an embroidery sewing machine. Oh, crazy Lorraine. Crazy, ain't she? has got an embroidery sewing machine. A 500 metres on each spool. Now, I, can, I wonder if you can use it then. Sturdy, dust-free. Um, it says it's for embroidery, but could you do it for, like, dressmaking and piecing as well? It's 100% polyester. I wonder what the weight is. Well, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. It's just because it's shiny, isn't it? And also, you've only got one of each colour, I suppose. 100% polyester. It is called embroidery thread. Oh, it's 40 weight. It's 40 weight, so it's absolutely fine. It's called embroidery thread, but it's 40 weight. So that's good for piecing as well. I was going to show you all the colours, but I... Oh, no. It could take forever. Oh, Kat said no. It didn't mean like that. Anyway, look this. This is brilliant. There's 49, but one's fallen off the table. I mean, look at all the different... Don't look at me. Look at all the colours, right? Oh, you got one of every... Oh, you don't have to come out. I've got it, Kat. I know, but she'd be sacked. If she was at ITV, she'd have been sacked now. Because you never leave the gallery if you're a producer at ITV. Yeah. <laughs> not, the, not, the, not the second one that wouldn't be Paul anymore. No. Anyway, look at all the gorgeous colours. Are we getting one? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I, I will. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's, oh, no, they're different whites. They're different whites. That one must be ivory, that one there. It looks thicker, that one, though. Uh, hang on, I've got to put them back right. Sorry. If you want to do something else while I do this. Oh, you can't. There's only me here. Look at all those gorgeous colours, though. And th th each of these got 500 metres on, right? And it's less than a pound. As I say, I've got this. It's very good value, isn't it? Very good value. But they do call it, they are stressing that it's embroidery thread, which means it will have that sheen on it. So maybe not good for actual quilting because you, you don't want sh a sheen on your quilting one necessarily, do you? Oh, I think the colours are gorgeous. In fact, do you know what? I don't know where my one of these has gone because mine are just, I've got, it's funny, I've got an identical trolley like that at home. And I've got all my threads in it. Don't know where I got that. <laughs> do 
Just come back and stop that. There you go. I've finished now. That was a bit of boring telly, wasn't it? Watching me put all those away. 49.99. I can't see with my glisten. 49.99. 50 threads, each with 500 metres on. And this box, which costs you 14.99 normally. You what? Well, it's... Uh, yes, if you've... Well, just are you going to spend that much on my Christmas present, cat? Hannah normally does. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's expensive. I think it's a brilliant buy, but I didn't think you'd be spending that much on me, cat, because I've only just come back, haven't I? Oh, have you? That's sometimes not a good thing. Oh, so are you getting married then? Does he know? Have you told him? Oh, they're going to get a house first. So they've got the dog. Where? Who does the dog live with? You or him? I haven't seen a picture of the dog. Right, look, 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 look. I know, look, because they've got Sewing Street on. Now I have to, oh, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, I can't tell you. I've got something to tell you, but I can't tell you. No, no, nothing, nothing that exciting. <laughs> but anyway, essential first. Shall I do essential first? These are, you get 10 colours, they're 50 weight. Each spool has 200 metres on it. Exclusive exclusive this box you won't get this box this box has been a bit bashed about hasn't it yeah when debbie does the advert for this is she sitting here or she's sitting at home and she goes hello i'm debbie Shaw." like that she goes all seductive and things doesn't she on it hello high quality right you know that they um egyptian cotton made in uh italy just outside milan uh and they're beautiful 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 they are 100 percent Cotton. Now I know for a fact that these are supposed to sell more than for more than that. Why do I know? Because I'll tell you, I've got a John Scott box, right? Which I've got not got here, but I know what the selling price is, and I know that they're more than £33.99. Well, actually, that makes each of these spools £3.39 pence each, doesn't it? D try buying a spool of Aurofil thread for £3.39. Very good, because this is your 50 weight, so it's good for dressmaking, for piecing. The higher the number, the thinner the thread. So it goes from a 12, if you're doing the, like uh, that thick, um, you know, like the uh, hand quilting and everything, that's the 12. It goes right the way up to the 80, which is the very, very fine for hand, um, when you do turn, turn applique and things like that. Uh, you can use this for everything. Dressmaking, English paper piecing, foundation paper piecing, anything at all. It's a 50 weight. This, these are the colours. If you're doing your piecing, these are the colours most people use. Either the biscuity beige or the silvery grey. I want you to put those colours together. Little Paul. Oh. Yeah. Right, okay. Now this is the quilters collection. Again, you get 10 colours, all 50 weight, 200 metres on each one. Exclusive to Sewing Street. Lovely, lovely. These are very autumnal. Well, actually, a cat's calling them autumnal. I would call them traditional quilting. You know, when people do like the Red House quilt and things like that, and they use biscuit and ecru and dark red, Mandy Shaw colours. There's a Mandy Shaw red in there. But they are beautiful colours. Si uh, 50 weight, 33.99. Again, I know it's supposed to be more than that. I don't know how we're doing it at 30. I don't know how Sewing Street are doing that for 33.99. To be, I just, I'm being honest. I know how much these boxes of threads are supposed to sell for. Oh, I like the fact they've put the numbers on the back. Oh, look, that's not, mine hasn't got that. Yeah, so if, so if that one runs out, you can just, I suppose it's, got, oh no, and say, say the little label's fallen off the end. You wouldn't know what colour it was, would you? Nice. Oh, also with Aurofil, you're, you're going to keep them in their cardboard boxes anyway. You're not going to have those just throwing around in a drawer. Unless you're Lucy Brennan, of course. She's a bit like that. Right. I've got, I've got another Aurofil. Yep. Sorry, yeah, I've got another Aurofil. Now I like this one. This one's your necessities, right? This is your necessities. I love this box. Oh, look, the little label's got Sewing Street written on. They all got that. The, you know the little silver label on the end? Oh, I'm just on them. 
I th you, might, um, you might be fresh. I'm not. How do you open this box? Oh, there you go. This one's not been opened. Oh, you see. Now, these are the colour. Remember I just said the people. Am I like, uh, have we not got an open one? Are you sure? I, I don't want to open it if I'm not allowed to open it on my first day. All right, then. I'm staying to the rules on my first day. Look, look. I don't want to do it gently, because if you remember that, there you go, look. Look at the colours, right? These are ideal, because what colours do you always use? You always use black and white. Five seconds, there you go. Black and white, and then what colours did I just say were the colours that everybody uses to do piecing? You've got your cream biscuit and your silvery grey. Uh, yeah, they've got, got a sheen on them. They're, they're, they're the, um, they've just got a wrapper on them because I've just opened it. The numbers are 2000, 2021, 2600, 2692, 50 weight. Now, hang on, how big are these? Are these are big spools, though. 1300 metres on each one. 1300 metres on each spool there. That's perfect. And they are the colours you can. That's why it's called necessities. That when they first launched it, it was called something else. It wasn't called necessities. Essential. Essential it was called, but necessities is nice, isn't it? And it comes in that lovely box from Orophil, 100% cotton, remember? Um, Egyptian cotton, but they use, they use all the fine, the threads, don't they? They use the best threads to, to make the cotton with it. It's gorgeous. Make the threads with it. It's beautiful. And that's it. Isn't, it? Isn't this it? Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be accused of opening all the boxes on my first day. No, hang on, I'll get it, I'll get it. You see, where's the floor manager? The floor manager's got nails, hasn't he? There we go, I've done it. Oh, really, Paul? Right, here we go. Done it. Beat the floor manager. This is cute. I'd have this as a display, but if they call it... Have I got any... Um, I don't suppose I have because we're not allowed to touch anything, are we? Any spools? Oh, yes, I've got some, got some, got some, got some. You get back to your seat. How is he? He's got his own company now. So I'm just talking about somebody we used to work with at the quarter. You won't guess. We never talked about we never talked about him. Right, hang on a sec. Oh look, you see what I mean? You could put your threads on there. Have we, oh yes, actually. Oh is she? Oh, if we had Karen on, if you had Karen on. <laughs> right, I'm just making a it's alright. Ooh, they're all these, you can tell I've settled in now. 25 to 11, they're all being vile to me again now. Didn't take long to do it. Well, that one's got a needle in it. Whose is this box of threads? It's not Sally Ann's, is it? Well, no, no I'm just going to do it like this, you see. How much is it anyway? 7 99 Lovely Christmas present. There you go. Well, you know what a lot of people have done during lockdown? They've sorted their thread drawer out. I've, I've sorted out my sock drawer, only have black socks. Um, I, that's a lie, that's like a Judith for my birthday. Did I tell you it was my 40th birthday during lockdown? Um, Judith bought me some happy birthday socks. Every time you open the box, it sings happy birthday to you. What part of it's matching, Cat? Because it's made of wood. I love the... I lo Whose is this that we're using here? Have they got those donuts yet, Elliot? Has Hayley been to get the donuts? Huh? Not now. I won't eat when I'm on air, but I thought like, like, like a little treat when I come off. Um, whose is this sign on here that says Little Scissors? Oh, there's a bigger one, is there? I use this for eggs. I've got one like this for eggs at home. Have we got any eggs? Yeah, but I've got an egg. Now, um, do you keep your eggs in the fridge or on the shelf? 
Have you gone completely vegan, Paul? Okay. Oh, no, I ate, I ate eggs. Um, because I, I always keep mine out in a chicken on the side. Well, no, it's not a real chicken. It's a wire chicken, right? And they're in the supermarket, they're always on the shelf, aren't they? But in the fridge, there's always those things. When you buy a fridge, it's got the things for eggs, doesn't it? And then some people said you should never put an egg in a fridge. And then there was one of those women on the radio the other day. I don't mean those women. I mean one of those people who talk about tidying your house. You know, your eggs have always got to be in the fridge. And I was like, do they? So I'm confused now. Anyway. This is nothing to do with eggs, this is scissors. And you don't get the scissors, these are just for display purposes only. Oh, we're going to sell all these scissors next. There you go. I wouldn't put it next to my spool holder on the desk, because that's more of a rosy wood to this one. <laughs> Cat's desperate for me to say that it matches the spool holder. Okay, moving on. Right, hang on a sec. Let me do my shops. I've done that. Let me just sort out. I've done that. I haven't done that yet. That's my buckle rubbing on this table that's a bit low. Look. Oh, look, it's a Paul Smith. It's a Paul Smith. It's a Paul Smith buckle, by the way. Right. Well, we talk about Paul Smith earlier, weren't we? What? <laughs> Here we go. Fabric scissors. By Fiskars, fourteen ninety nine. They should be a lot more than fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I know. Hey, what? That, no, no, because it's. I'm. I, I, I'm usually very good at far away, but it's quite small. I, if I read it on the screen, I'm all right. But if I read it on that thing there, I can't read that. Fourteen ninety nine. You're never far enough away, Paul, to look that small. Oh, well, I tell you what, we didn't do earlier. What's your mum's Instagram page called? Oh, he's forgotten already. Barbara's forgotten. Delightful, delicate, and there what? Yeah. Handmade. Free motion embroidery. Oh, we can't. Well, she should come on and demo. She'd be on. She'd be all right if she's on with me. 14, 14, 19. Now, in the old days, here we go. Haley wouldn't let us have scissors on without cutting something, so I'll cut one of these. Well, no, no, these are all right because these are just in the bag, aren't they? These are coming up in a minute. These barley pops are coming up in a minute. Barley pop, barley pop, ooh, barley, barley pop. Ooh, blimey, they're good. They're really good. Now you think when when you, you see, I normally say buy cheap, buy twice, don't I? They're good. How much are they? Fourteen ninety nine. Really, really excellent. Got a nice feel to them as well. Those. They're very lightweight. They're very lightweight. My all my shears are all quite heavy, but they've got a lovely ergonomic feel to them. Beautiful. Paul's going to do his word board again. Tick Kim doesn't work here though. Oh, no, I've seen her on telly recently. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so that's your right-handed scissor there. This one's a left, is it the orange one that's a left-hander? I can't show how these work because I'm not left-handed. Are you sure this is a left-handed one? Yeah, there you go. For... Fourteen ninety nine for the left-handed. They're more creative, as they as it's known. Left-handed people very creative. Fisker's left-handed general purpose scissors. These fourteen ninety nine. Right now we used to call these. What do we used to call these? Like the hummingbird was it, or something like that? These are lovely because if you look at these, right? I'll put it that way around, right? When they're closed, they look like this. When they're open, look, there's a spring in there. So if you have um, Dexterity issues, thank you, Paul. Dexterity issues. These are really good because that that the spring takes the the strain of cutting, and also you can put them in the drawer and lock them like that. Be careful the ends because the ends quite sharp. Got soft soft grip, silicon soft grip on the handle there. 
Very good for those little snippy scissors. Oh, actually, you know Sally Ann was doing her um, chain piece in earlier and then snipping between each two. These would be brilliant for that. 14 99 And they are from Fiskars, which is an excellent, excellent brand. Oh, apparently they've been around since four o'clock. Paul says they've been around since 1600. Let's do the barley pops. I love these. Barley pop, barley pop, ooh, barley, barley. Which one would you like to do first? Neither of them have got names on them, but I'm presuming that's autumn. Yeah. Copper, it's called this one. 100% cotton, cut with a laser-guided machine, 40 fabrics, and you get, yeah, yeah, you, don't, you get 40 pieces, 20 designs, and, well, these are they. These are, I'm ever so sorry. I'm ever so sorry. I'll have to have a word with floor. Do what, what? I know, they're very creased. I do apologise. But these are all the gorgeous colours you get in here. Now, they are, um, um, Batik, they are batik dyed and they're beautiful. Oh look, someone's made something out of this one. Somebody's made a feather out of that one. Oh, is that Wendy Orlando? She's messaging already this morning, isn't she? Um, she's on with me and a couple of Wednesday. Oh, it might be next Wednesday. What date is it? Say six, seven. Oh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Yeah, next Wednesday. I hope she does a better job on next Wednesday than this then. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Oh, she'll be at home now, sweating and crying. Anyway, it's gorgeous, isn't it? They're autumnal colours, but they call it copper, but we called it autumn. Hoffman Barley Pop Autumn Spotty. <laughs> Blimey. Who named that one? That's what. Pounder strip, 39.90. Say I'm not saying that, Paul. Pastels, these are beautiful. These are gorgeous. Now, you know what's very popular? Um, batik quilts and also, um, wasn't Sally Stevens on doing... Um, oh. No, no. What are these called? Design roll quilts. So these are all two and a half inches in width, aren't they? And she was on doing a design roll quilt. No, I can't even speak, can I? Design roll quilt recently. Again, you get 40 pieces, you get two of each colour. So there's 20 colours in there and you get two of each. 39 99 100% cotton and they're cut by um, laser. So they're absolutely brilliantly cut. They're not cut with, no, Neil hasn't been out the back with his electric scissors. Righty-ho. Which one do you want to do first? That one. They, oh, this is Thermaland. So if you're making oven gloves or a tea cosy or table mats and you don't want the heat to transfer onto your table or onto your hands or anything like that, put this in. Now, I would say don't use just this. Use this and wadding as well um, because the wadding will soak up any condensation because if you think you're picking up hot things and everything like that. It's 5 dollars You buy it by the half metre. Do, do you buy it by the half metre? No. No, you don't. They come pre-cut. Sorry about that, everyone. They come pre-cut like that. So if you order two, you will get two of these. They're 90 centimetres wide and a metre in length. Oh, that's good value. 5 99 But if you buy two, you will get two separate ones of this. They do not come joined together. Not that you're likely to make oven gloves that are twice the size of that, are you, really? Who was it we used to know had big hands? Even they wouldn't use that, would they? Who was it? I don't know which job I was at. I've had so many jobs now. Right, if you go to the um, uh, Fleaseline uh, website, it's all on there, all their products. But buy it from us, but go and look on there what it's about. 5 99 for a metre, and it's 90 centimetres wide. Okay. Do it, this one. Now, this has got a different name. I don't know. This is Starville. Is that what it's called? Styleville. 
You get half a metre and 72 centimetres. Yeah, it's fusible, but I knew a different, it as a different name. What was the name I would have known it as then? Anyway, good for bag making. I bet Becky, uh, Becky Alexander Frost uses lots of, why can't I speak? Becky Alexander Frost uses a lot of this, I imagine. Might you? Might you? She's uh, staying at home at the moment. She's on my show in a couple of weeks' time. And um, she's doing it from home. She's videoing it in from home. Ginger Ninja's going to be holding the camera. Why would you need to use a cat bed? I tell you what this is good for. You know what I was saying earlier? If you did a qu one of these, right, and then you made it into a cushion, you just wanted some backing on it to quilt on, that this is very good for that because it gives the front cushion a really lovely squeegee feel to it. When you watch Becky Alexander Frost at home, right, it looks like she's working in the new studio. If you look very carefully to her right-hand side, you can see a fridge. Oh, no? I shouldn't tell you that because she, she, goes, she goes all out to, to hide it and everything so you don't think she's in her fridge. No, she's not in the fridge. She's in the kitchen. Anyway. Decoville. Now, this is a big piece. This is very good for structured bags. Now, is this, is Decaville um, fusible then? Oh, I don't know. You'd have to check on the website. Because it looks, can you see, it's got a sheen to that side, doesn't it? I tell you, uses this a lot, Lisa Lamb. Lisa Lamb uses this an awful lot for her more structured bags. Viscose polyester mix. So it's not, might not be, it might not be, um... So it's not fusible then. If you iron it, it'll fuse, wouldn't it? Okay, moving on. Oh, well, well f I'll find out for you. That's a, what was the other thing I was going to ask about? Oh, the scissors and, no, was something else I was going to find out about. I was going to ask Kayleigh, wasn't I? What? I know, where is my notepad? Anyway, come on then. Micro stitch tool. Now, um, do we sell on the website the refills? We do. Right, twenty four ninety nine. Now, this is brilliant. I, 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 I don't suppose we've got a sandwich to show how to make it here, have we? Cheese and pickle sandwich, maybe. Basically, what you do is, when you've made your quilt, right, you know how... Oh, actually, where are the pins? Aren't I supposed to have pins in this hour? Remember, we had the two boxes. In the next hour, I've got safety pins, curved safety pins. If you don't want to use safety pins, don't worry, Kat, don't worry, because this one's not open, so I would need to find the open one. What you do is you lay it flat, right, and then you literally take the plastic um, nozzle off. Oh, hang on, I might, better I might better open it. I might better open it without damaging it. There you go. There you go. So what you do is you see, you take your nozzle off there, your, your rubber nozzle off. Now be careful because this is sharp. Sorry, right camera, there you go. And then what you do is you feed, they come in black and natural. You feed these in there like that. You know, like you do Kimble tags if you work, if you ever used to work at Debenhams, the prices used to be put. Now, I, I don't want to be a political, but I went into stratford upon avon yesterday, or the day before, to where I live. And the Debenhams hasn't reopened. Are they not opening again? Or are they just shut? Or they just shut some of their stores? I don't want to be, I'm not being political or anything like that. I just, I don't know. I just, I knew they were in trouble before the lockdown and everything. But I just presume they're not, it's just not opened. Anyway, you, you put that in there and then you, you literally push that through your fabric there and pull the trigger and then a little plastic thing. And you can sew over, because if you've got pins, you have to take them out as you're going along. You can sew over. I'm so over some things, you know what I mean? Anyway, you can sew over them, but then when you've done it, don't pull these out because you could rip your quilt. You have to snip them using your little snippy scissors that you've just bought, and you can snip those off. Right, let me put that back. They're saying this is the studio sample, but I'm not sure that it is. If it is, nobody's used this one before. Let me put that back. Well, yeah, but why has no Kimball's been used or anything? There you go. Anyway, it's brilliant at 24. I'll just find the camera, sorry. 24.99. Oh, is that what this is? I was looking at this earlier. If you blunt the needle, we've never, no, I've never seen these before. Never seen these before. These are the needle replacement needles. 
Oh, what a good idea. I'll put it down. Have we not had these before? Uh, not we. I haven't been in here before. Little Paul's not seen these before either. 22 99. Now, in the old place, we didn't stock these. We used to stock, uh, we used to stock the Kimball tags, the little plastic tags, but we never stocked these before. Now, I know 22 99 you're going to think, oof, for four needles, but they're going to last. If you think the micro stitch tool that we had at Sewing Quarter lasted for three years and we didn't change the blade, didn't change the needle once. So, you know what I mean? Well, no, I just, no, would you go through the leather of a PU with it? Let me have a look, I'll check. No pins, no glue, no large tacks. Applique, tailoring garments or drapes. It's not saying PU, so I wouldn't use it. In just a bit, I'm just saying cat in case I say PU and then they buy one. It's, a, it's a hemming fabrics, tailoring fabrics and applique fabrics. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, I take it back. On the front, on the front. Oh no, there's a picture of a shoe, but she's actually doing the hem of her trousers. So I do apologise. I'm sure you could go through PU, but they're not. I think, I think what would happen if you use PU, they might make the hole too big. It'll mark the PU where you've put your thingy through, wouldn't it? So you would, I wouldn't use it for PU. I've got all these. Oh. I was gonna, can I just mention this very quickly? It's the, I was, right, get one of these because they're brilliant. When Sally Ann was talking earlier about cutting squares at two and seven eighths, these are absolutely brilliant for it. Uh, if you can get one of these, they're, they're a considered purchase, but they're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. 64 99. Um, from Fiskars, um, and literally you can use them left handed, right handed. You can cut going upwards, cutting downwards. 64 99. I'm only rushing because I've got to move on because Sally Ann's waiting to come to her next show. So there you go, that's me done uh, for this hour. I'll be back in four minutes' time. And Sally Ann, oh, you got a picture of it, or should I show this? I know it's the last hour. I've never done, I have worked for four hours for ages. It's exhausting. Um, that's what Sally Ann's making straight after the break. And it, it comes in two colourways, I'm thinking. And it comes on a panel, an exclusive panel. We will see you in four from now. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual. Always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.
If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Now! Isn't this gorgeous? No, look at this picture. This is what's gorgeous. Sorry. I completely forgot where I was then. Isn't that lovely? We are about to make that now, now, now. Let me tell you, the pattern itself comes out of this book. Is this in the right place or do you want me to put it somewhere else? Right, this is, this is the book. I love this book. It's called Playful. That says more week. Oh. It's all right, we'll get, the, we'll get the right graphics in a minute for you. There you go. Playful pre-cuts. By Amanda, Amanda, <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt that one, Niederhauser. Anyway, isn't it, it's a beautiful book, right? I'm going to put it on the desk. How much is it? Twenty two ninety nine, right? Eat that first picture. Oh, that's a long way. Oh, that's a long way away. I don't know if I can reach that. Twenty two ninety nine. this book. 15 projects with blocks to mix. And Oh, that's a good idea. With blocks to mix. Now, I'll just flick through it very gently. We'll go through it. Oh, isn't that funny? I've just pulled out the one that Sally Ann's making there. The one block wall hanging, that's called. Um, oh, now that, isn't that um, maple leaf? Is that one maple leaf there? Oh, hang on, cat says there's a cat. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, these are the quilts I like. The, oh, I don't like that one. These are lovely, aren't they? Where's the cats then, cat? Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh. Oh, now that's very similar to the one we did. It's not the same as the one we did earlier, but that's got a similar feel to the one that Sally Ann did earlier, isn't it? Gingham Patches, that one's called. Oh, that's lovely. Sunday Drive, that's the one on the front cover. I think it's got a lot to do with the, Oh, look at that one with the hearts. Oh, isn't that lovely? Um, I think it's got something to do with the colours you use as well, isn't it? Well, I, the cat said there was one with cats on it, but I, can't, I haven't seen it yet. It must have been further back. Hang on. You've got the right book, cat. Oh, there. That's a real cat. Oh, there's um, Amanda. Oh, page what? 27. Oh, there's one with cats on 27. Oh, no, because they're blocks that you can swap around, aren't they? Page 27, here you go. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. That's the one you're thinking of, Cat. Garden Cat. Well, you could come on and demonstrate that one, Cat. Isn't that called Irish? Chain. Irish Chain. 
So it's all coming back to me. Right, anyway, that's the book. 22, 22 pounds, sorry, camera. 22 pounds, 99. Now we've got two bundles. Now what you need to make this is five inch squares. So rather than you buying a charm pack set, why not buy this? Watch. Right, which one would you like first? Pink first. Right, watch, ready? Oh, I might have to stand up. No, 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 I'm not going to stand up. Look, we have printed up all your five inch squares for you. Can you see those? Is that good for you, Paul? This is called Pinks and Purples Heart Wall Hanging. Isn't that lovely? So they are, in effect, your five inch uh, charm packs plus a big bit of the purple gingham. Pin printed by us for this quilt. So if you're, if you're, the reason we haven't put the book in, in the bundle is because you might buy the book and think, well, I've got my own five inch squares at home, I'll cut my own, thank you. But if you wanted to make more identical to ones that Sally's making or made, then that's the first one, that's the pink and purple one. Oh, and, 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 and hang on, you get these as well. Is there, what's in there, half a metre of each? Yeah. That's not fuchsia. If you buy it now, I've used that all year. If you buy it now, you'll get it in the fuchsia. And what colour is that one? Ivory. Ivory. That's lovely. That's lovely. And, and no, I do give you a credit whenever I say it. This one's called Rainbow. Not a money credit, obviously, Paul. I don't understand. I don't understand bitcoins. Who'd buy something you actually have in your purse? You know what I mean? Anyway. This is one that the finished sample is made out of. You get all your... So how many five-inch squares do you get? One, two, three... Oh, five, one, 25, 25 five inch squares plus that big bit of gingham at the bottom. This is 1999, so you get the whole that and you get crimson and you get cream. That more, looks more like vanilla to me, but it's not cream. Do we still do vanilla? Oh, we do. So that's that bundle there. And those are our two bundles. And I've got, is this in this hour as well? Uh, this, this, if, you, if you want some wadding, this is heart comes by the half metre. This is lovely. This is the 80-20 lightweight one. Um, have I not got any tools in this hour? Six nine nine. I thought there were things on the trolley, like pins and... Oh, okay. Because we had the pins. Sally Ann had the pins in the first hour. That was all. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. Book graphic comes in. Right, Sally Ann, that is gorgeous. I love that. It looks smaller. If you were to look at this in the book here... It finishes at 24 inches. Look, is it, doesn't that picture look like it's bigger? It does, doesn't it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Is that the same one? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So Maybe I think th in the book, all of the, all of the um, blocks are 12 inch blocks. Right. Which means that any of those you can oh, use. Oh, you can put in the middle. You can put in the middle of this surround. Oh, yeah, it is. It yeah. is the, um, it's lovely. It's brilliant as well. If you don't buy our bundle, it's brilliant for stash busting, isn't it? Because you could create a really gorgeous yeah. rainbow effect with any... Because you'd only need little squares of fabric in your, in your stash box, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and also, we've done the heart in the middle. That's what's different. We've done the heart in the middle in one colour. And she in the book here has done four different colours for the heart in the middle. Yes. Anyway, no. so... So if you... Um, so breaking down the panel, if you use the gingham for those four pieces, yeah. those four blocks, then you can use the rest of the gingham to bind it with and you can use colours for the middle. So oh, okay. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you use all, you can use all of the panel to do all of the blocks and all of the binding and you'll have one square left over. Oh, okay, perfect. It really goes that far. So what is the, why have we got two colours in the bundle? You get half a metre of each. You've only used cream in yours, haven't you? Yeah. So did you, were you sent another colour, like a crimson, were you sent the crimson with yours? No. I was only sent one colour. So it's not big enough, I don't think it's big enough for backing, is it? Half a metre. No, it's because it finishes at 24. Yeah. So I don't know what that's there for. So you'd have half a metre, basically you can have half a metre fabric left over, mm -hmm. plus one square. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Right, so let's start, because so in the first day you did two demystify. Oh, actually, remind people of your free download thing. Okay, so 
Um, we've got a picture of you. Don't show yours. Oh, here you go. I'm not oh, no, well, we've got... If you go lean to www.sallyandquilts.com, there is a free download yep. demystifying half square triangles. Yep, and there's four different methods in there. Brilliant. And that's completely for free? Yes. You've got too much money, you know. <laughs> So I had to charge money for that, me, if it was on my website. But anyway, that's by the by. So I'm so trying to be good. I'm stood here sort of like trying to lean backwards. Yeah, well, you mustn't tip your head forward, otherwise Paul gets upset. I know. Um, anyway. So we did two half square triangle techniques in the first, first hour. one. Yep. Are you going to do two different ones in this I'm going to talk, yes. Really? Um, but I'm going to make the centre first and then I'm going to oh, talk okay, about Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I jumped ahead. Yeah. We're getting overexcited. I am getting overexcited. I'm tired now. <laughs> I've been working for three hours today. It's a bit much. And I had to get up at, what time was it? 10 to 5 or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to make the centre block, which is the heart. Right. Which is... Are you making it in different colours? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm going to make it in different colours. Okay. okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got four, I think these are four and a half inch squares, so they can come straight. Are they just cut out from the panel? Yep. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is take off the corners. So I'm going to put oh, these clever. on them. Yeah. So it tells you how to do all this in the pattern. If you want to make this one, you need to buy the book for the pattern yeah. to make it. But the panel and the fabrics make it. I've got it now. I'm with you now. So these come off the corners. Just you just do it on two corners, do you? Mm, yep. Oh, not on all of them, though. Only on the top two. Yeah, the top two. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, got it. All right. I'm just going to draw a pencil line across the other two. I'm trying not to lean backwards. How am I doing? What's the matter? How am I doing? I'm getting, still getting my hair Oh, I, I couldn't see then. I wasn't oh, listening. Right. Hang on. Do the upstairs picture. Right. Push your, push your triangle a little bit further forward, Sally Ann. Oh, he wants it a bit further. She's only got short arms, though. Yeah. Is that all right? There you go, perfect. Just don't lean forward. Right, so that's about, yeah, okay. Modern technology. We're spoiling the, the glamour of, what is it, the mystique of television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've had your magic trick of the day. Yeah. Did it look good? Oh. Yeah, I spoke to my husband in the interim, and he said it looked really good on TV. Oh, the, you know, the is that your lovely husband? Yeah. He's what, what's he got the telly on at work for? Well, exactly. Doesn't he do pipes for um, pipes? oil rigs or something like that? No. Now, what does he do? He works for Rolls-Royce. He what? Rolls-Royce Aerospace Engines. Oh, but does he work near me? Oh, Rolls-Royce is up near me, Oh, not, it? Oh, does it doesn't work in Derby or it's in Bristol. Oh, no, no, we've got, we've got one in Coventry as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, we say Coventry. Ooh. Right, so okay, so I'm on just two corners. You put your little squares. Yeah, and I'm going to sort of go. Um, perfect. So that, do you know what? That's a perfect placing there. Look, see on the screen. That's the perfect, perfect. placing. There. Okay. Brilliant. Getting brownie points now, then. Right. Right. So here we go. Oh, I've got jumble going on down here now. Have you got lots of wires? Yeah. Oh. There we go. That's that. Blame Elliot. Right. So I'm just going to say. If anything, I'm going to sew slightly to the right of the pencil line. Oh, OK. Yeah. Like, but when you say slightly to the right, you mean by a hair's breadth. Yes. It's like, like a, it, not even a thread's width. Away, That's isn't right, it? Yeah. yeah. Just to allow for that fold back. Yeah. Yeah. When is the monitor arriving? The one for me to be able to see what's going on. You, you were busy chattering about how you and Elliot were best friends. Yeah. Elliot was just saying, oh, you're best friends. Then he went, oh, he's my boss. He can't really be my best friend. In there, little Paul. You can't see him because he's in behind the monitor. He's the little one in there. And then you, oh, you're trimming them, trim off. them you trim off. off. Yeah. Go on, you're all right. You're right. Back. 
It's not easy. I was doing it earlier, so don't worry. I've got longer arms than you. I'm just gonna. Where's your roller? Yeah, I'll get the roller, I think. So I'm just gonna iron it sort of towards the darker. Yeah. Yeah, so that makes it to the dark sense. side. Yeah. Okay. I think Kat's tired now. <laughs> She's asking me to ask silly questions I'm not gonna ask. She's been overexcited. Well, she, the cat and Paul were only told this morning that I was coming. Everyone was told this morning. So I'm going to join those two together to make that top. So you're making the top. cleft yeah. in the pudding. Yeah. Because when you, when we, we all used to work in jewellery, and when you get a heart-cut gemstone, the bit at the top is called the cleft, where Ooh. they cut that little bit out. And that's normally when you're cutting a gemstone, when it cracks the whole gemstone, isn't it, Paul? Oh, he's not even listening. <laughs> Paul, I was just talking to you. Too late now, finished. How are you? Oh. Right, so that's the top. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to create the bottom. Oh, now that's just square. different, isn't it? Are there half square triangles yeah. at the bottom? Yeah, they're half square triangles. And we're going to use exactly the same method as we used this morning. So are the squares on our panels the right size to cut out for what you need to do? Yes, you can. So if you cut them at five, yeah. so pair them with a five inch plain square yeah. um, and then follow the technique, then they'll come out. You'll need to trim them off just slightly. Perfect. So let's get a line across there. So which method are you using on this half square triangle? One the ones from earlier yeah, or it's a new exactly one? Yeah, no, this is exactly the same as okay. we used earlier on. Yeah, I've already got a line on that one. So. so I'll do exactly the same as I did this morning, but I'll chain these two through. Right, yeah. Remember the book, Playful Pre-Cuts, 15 projects. How much is it? $22.99. Mix and match. They're blocks. They've got different blocks in for you to mix and match. First time we've ever done a project from We've had it before, but it's the first time we've done the project. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm doing an entire job. By Amanda Niederhauser. Niederhauser. Is it Nieder or Nieder, do you think? You say, you say neither, I say neither. You say potato, I say potato. Yeah, get the book, because then even if you don't do the bundle today, the book's brilliant. It's lovely, gorgeous. Oh, sorry, I'm going to pull it a shot. It's got pinwheels, stars, cats, and hearts. 15 fabulous pre cut quilts for all seasons. <gasps> I mean, the bigger quilt, the, this 24 inch quilt that we're making, you could make that into a scatter cushion, couldn't you? You could, or you could do lots and lots of those big, uh, of your, the quilt that you've made, do it lots and lots of times and make a lovely big, big quilt, couldn't you? Like oh, you could, quilt. yeah. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> have you had your flu jab yet, Paul? Oh, I've had my flu jab and my, I'd, when I went, she went, oh, you're having this as well, and jabbed something else in my other arm. And it was a pneumonia jab. I, well, it's because I'm an, uh, over 40 now, you see. I think it depends on your area because I put it on. I put it on. I said it on my Facebook Live on Sunday. A lot of people said we haven't had them offered in our where we live. 
Hasanna had hers. Because she's majorly at risk, isn't she? Of everything. Let me get these and press. So what are you doing now? Are you going to press, press it them? Is yeah. your iron on? Uh, nope. It will be in a minute. Honestly, Elliot, stop switching the iron off between shows. Oh, health and safety. So did he run in the other day when Rebecca Reed had the iron flat on the desk for about an hour? <laughs> I was watching from home and she did, she did a bit of pressing. She was doing a friction pen and then she put the iron down on the mat and left it flat. And I was like, oh, in a minute, the sirens are going to go off. In a minute, somebody's going to run in. And it was like, it felt like forever. It must have been a li about four minutes, but it felt like it was forever. <laughs> oh, steaming and everything now. Oh, it's steaming now as well. Ooh. Did you press no. So I'm just setting the seam and then pushing it back towards the darker one. What are you muttering? So I'm just setting the seam and pushing it back towards okay, the, lovely. the darker one. Right. Where shall I put this now? Oh no. Is, no, a, is there a mat underneath the yeah, table? There we go. Okay. okay. These need to finish at well they they finish at four, so I need to make sure that they're four and a half. Right. Raw edge. So I'm going to straighten them up. So you're gonna line up the diagonal of your ruler yeah. on the diagonal line and then trim. So I'm going really as close as I can. What's that rotating cutting mat? That, did you bring that in or was that one? No. Of I was supplied with this. I always What make is it? I've not seen that one. No. Trim it. I do like a rotating cutting mat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so much safer. Right. This one. I do one of the other ones as well. So you want your diagonal line. Yeah on the seam that you've made. Does it tell you all this in the book, to do this in the book? Yes. I oh, know it's a lovely book. Nice. It's from Crafts Quilting. It's right. Yeah, right. And Those to one side yeah. for a minute. That one. Do you need all four? You don't need all four of them. You need no, two of them, but you, you? I'm going to use the others later on in okay. the border. So let's bring this down. Oh. What we're going to do now is sew them into position. So it's gonna, nice to do with the different colours on. Yeah, so I'm going to sew those two together now, right sides together. Are you using the same bundle that you've dis the one behind you? You've got the different bundle. I've got the pink. Oh, the pink, yeah. yeah. Which is oh no, that's that, that, that one, and then the one you made at home was this one. One with the blue Rainbow. check in, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to finger press that to one side, and then put them together so that the seams nest. Get my head out of the way. What are you muttering about? Get, so I can get the seams to nest. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yep. I don't know. I'm just going to see the different colours. So this one here is the pink and purple one, which is this one here. This is pink and purple, which is not the one that's on the wall. It's the one that Sally Ann's using now. And then this is the one that Sally Ann used for the one on the wall, which is called Rainbow. Oh, it's called original, not called a rainbow, it's called original. Yeah, so, oh no, they are, they're brighter colours. They're, 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 there's some bright colours in that pink and purple one, but they are... It's nice there, so this, this one here is the pink and purple one, this one here is the rainbow one, just so you know. The rainbow one is the one that's hanging on the wall behind Sally, and the one that she's working with is the pink one. That's the rainbow one you see in there. Just wanted to make sure you were getting the right. Oh, some beautiful fabrics in there. Okay, so 
Okay, so we've got them together. Yeah. So you would perhaps get your iron out at this point and give that a little bit of a press. I mean, you could open that. It's up to you. Perhaps it might actually be better open. Well, if you're going to quilt it, it might be quite good to open it up because yeah. then you're not going to get like a little nipple in the middle of it all. No. Right? Then you need to pop on some borders. So these are two and a half by, yeah, two and a half by eight and a half. Right. So this centre block is eight inches yeah. finished. So you're just going to pop these on. So that makes it into the 12 inch block then when you yes. put those on, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it builds it up to a 12 yeah. inch size. I'd almost be tempted, as you've got two, you get two colours. In that one you get the, the fuchsia and the ivory, and in that one you get the red and the cream. I might do one of those, that border in a different colour. So you know how you've done the background of your heart in the cream or the ivory? I might do the, this what you're doing now in a different colour, in the pink or something. Oh yeah, that could be an idea, isn't it? Yeah. I mean also you could use the panel because it's got all those five inch you could use it just to make loads of hearts. Yeah, oh you? no, totally. And I think there is a, in one in the book. With oh, no, we saw that one, yeah, yeah with the hearts on. Hang on, is it there? Yeah, it's called Scrappy Hearts. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on, it goes that way and that way. Getting used to all this new technology. There you go. Look. Oh, look at it. Can you see this side? Oh, yes, you can. Look, it's that beautiful as a quilt quilt. A quilt quilt. With a lovely, I love a quilt with a dark background, me. Very nice. Yeah, what was that brown we had earlier? Dirt, it was called. They had the fabric earlier, and the colour was called dirt, Sally Ann. <laughs> what? I know. What did you say? Okay. Just gonna again use the roller to yeah. come back. It's really weird because um, quite a few people have got that nice wooden rule, uh, roller that you've got. But, and when we bought the little clover plastic one, I was like, oh, that'll never work. But it actually is brilliant, the little plastic yes, clover Yes, it one. is. Yeah, Absolutely I've used that one. Brilliant. It's on the website. We haven't got anything on the show today. It's on the website. So these are the top and bottom borders. They're just two and a half by 12 and a half. Okay. Do you know what, if they'd also look nice as, uh, with not quite such a big board, you can make bunting, like wedding bunting out of the hearts, couldn't you? So you have, could. your, have your sashing a little bit, or your board are a little bit narrower. Yeah. And then you could have like really lovely bunting, wide bunting, couldn't you? Or a pocket on the front of a tote bag, cat saying. Yeah. Making a tote bag tomorrow. No, I'm not. Delphine is tomorrow. Um, and it's got, it's insulated, Ooh. insulated tote bag. Quilt she go tomorrow. See, I've done my homework. Ooh. So you're in for the next few days, are no, you? No, just staying tomorrow. Tonight, tomorrow. Then I've got the John Scott show on Thursday. And then I've got Friday off and then I'm back in here on Saturday. With whom? Yeah. Did you not bring, can you not bring your, um, your little Paul's tummies rumbling everyone at home, just so you know? He used to bring like what, something this big, right? 
He's a creature of habit. He makes a smoothie with like all sorts of. Today it was banana, avocado. <laughs> what was the third? <laughs> what was the third thing? But <laughs> beetroot. Beetroot. And carrot. Oh, spirulina. I have my greens every day. I have my um, um, what they call it? Greens. It's like powder. I mix with water. That It will the first few days. Okay. Right, you hope. So, here is the finished centre block. Okay. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? In the court, what do they call it? Court, not court colours. What they party coloured, party coloured. Party colours. Okay. Very nice. Can you see that from upstairs? Sorry. I'm not trying to direct, I promise. But look, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so that's the sense of it. But now we've got okay. to do the outside. The edge. outside half square triangles. Yes. We? So let's put the book back. Oh, Kat's wanted to make the whole thing into one great big cushion. <laughs> so I wrote myself a little note. Oh, have you? What, in case you for in case, in case I you forgot. forgot. Mm. Right, so if we go back to the, um, the download. Yes, yes, yep. yeah. Ooh, the table's moving. Ooh. So we talked about two different methods, drawing us a line and cutting it in half. Yeah, yeah. One of the things we haven't talked about is something called the magic eight, which is a way of setting it up so that you cut eight in one go. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Okay, so you just cut a bigger square. Yeah. Draw the lines across it in the same way. Oh, so uh, yeah, some patterns have yeah. it on the back page, don't they? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then you just cut on these red lines. Yeah. Okay. So that's called the magic eight because it makes eight half square triangle right. units and the sizes are given in the. But you might not want eight, because they have to be matching, don't they? Because yes. you've only got two colours, haven't you? You yep. might not want eight of the same two colours. So and the other. Going on from there. The other way of doing it is by using um, half square triangle papers or paper thangles. And this is what I've shown. Paper what? Thangles. This is, I think it's a brand name. <laughs> this is called a thangle. A thangle. And that's what little Paul wears on the beach. <laughs> it's like a thong, but smaller. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what is it? So does this come as part of your, as, as your download? So in the download, actually, it doesn't give you one of these, but it tells you where you can get one. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. so this is just a, a, basically a grid printed out by your computer onto a piece of paper. Normal paper? Um, no, this is Carol, you know, the Carol Doak Foundation Oh, yes, paper. do we have that? Oh, it's out of stock at the moment, but, right. but you can use very, very fine, um, uh, the cheapest of cheapest photocopying yep. paper as well, can't you? I've got very good what piece have you lost? to... Just trying to... So what you would do is you take two pieces of paper, uh, fabric yeah right sides together lay this on the top yeah and then you just oh like foundation paper well, yeah. not foundation paper but like foundation you paper. just follow the lines oh okay and then you cut cut it off afterwards oh brilliant. sorry you cut along the dotted lines yeah. afterwards and then you pull the papers off just like you would for foundation piecing okay okay so that's another way of doing it brilliant now one of the things that i noticed was the rest of my and this is where the photograph comes in 12 of these coloured squares are used, or 12 of the coloured squares make a white colour half square triangle unit. Right. Are you following me? So yeah, yeah, so half white, half colour, you make 12 of them. Yes. Yes. So, instead of, ah, strong piece. What are you looking for? So, why, instead of cutting out each one of your five and then Subcutting them down using the method to make units. Why don't you do it all in one fail swoop, which is like this method right. and like the magic eight? So, but what different. you would do is you just put a cream piece across the top and then draw lines with your ruler. Oh, yes. Right the way across. So, you use a big piece of cream. Yeah. Big piece don't of cream. Don't cut it up. And you can actually see through it, which yes, is exactly, really yeah. useful. So it works really well. So you're going to put it over the top, and, and then, then you're going to get a ruler, ruler, 
which is so a longer ruler than this one, yeah. you can then just draw in the lines for which then you can sew either side uh -huh. and then subcut all your units oh, in wow. one go, yeah. which is like this method, the paper method, and but like the magic the paper. Egg. Yeah, there's a picture. I don't know if you of what I did at home. Oh, picture one. Oh no, they only got the mystified, demystify one okay. through. Just have a double check. What, what, what uh, is it? What's the picture of? To Haley, um, one of the Haley's. Oh yeah. And yeah. it's just a picture, basically of this. Yeah. Oh well, you've yeah. got it for life there. Yeah. Real haley has gone home, so um, we won't be able to okay. talk to her. Um, but you see what I mean? Because instead, yes, of, yes, yes, instead of sitting down and individually cutting out those, it's a little bit laborious. Yes, and then, just and then do sewing it. the back Ooh. together, you might as well do it all in one go, exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. So that's a way of doing that. All right, so now going back to that panel then. So you've made your centre heart. Yep. So now I need to do the rows that are above it. Yes. So if you... Some of these I've started, so I've got a couple of rows, yeah. So, I'm going to have to... So I'm hoping that I'll be able to put a couple of rows together oh, so you'll be right. I've got see. 20 minutes yet, see if I... Okay. Okay. I suppose you could also create your own shapes with your half square triangles. You don't have to follow Annette, Amanda's shaping. You could no. put them however you wanted to, really, couldn't you? You could say that again. You could follow your own. Then you know what I mean? Like, you could follow the pattern that Amanda's done with yep. the zigzag length. But if you wanted to, you could twist some of the, like, see at the top there, you could twist the yellow ones around to have them slightly different if you wanted. You could things do. Like that. You could play do it at it. this point where you're laying them out, so you make sure you like your pattern and things, but you could do. Yeah. I wonder why she's done four, just four solid colour ones, the corner, you know, see the corner blocks, yeah. the red ones, the ones you've done in red. Anyway. Some of the, um, the blocks in the book as well, there's one that I saw just earlier on that was like a four patch that went in here. Yeah. And, and it's surprising how just putting one little four patch in here made it look so different on yeah. those corners. Yeah, oh yeah, completely. Because I'm thinking, see where you've got your red squares, like in the four, almost four corners. I think they'd be nice as half square triangles in a way. Yeah. Yeah. So it has an angled line. So you have three white ones and then a white and red half square triangle in the corners. Yeah, I know what you mean. So it's the, this was like... Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. Just some... Yeah. That's just me. Little tweaks, little personal tweaks. So there is a row... I haven't got that in the right place if I zoom in. Let's have a look. So all I've done is made this some half square triangle units using the methods that we've already discussed. And that is the second row down. Oh, I, I couldn't figure out why you're going wider, but of course there's yeah. down the sides as well, yeah. aren't there? So I'm going to sew that row together, then okay. I'll sew the oh, top yes, one. Oh yes, because actually only two rows are the full width of the f of the pattern, aren't they? And then yes. as you go down the side, they yeah, it's just a replica. Yes, the, yes, you know, yes, it's yes, all repeated. So just the two rows are the main feature. Yeah. So I'm going to sew this together as a row, and I'm going to take it in pairs, exactly as I was doing this morning. Okay, perfect. While you do that, oh no, no, we'll do that. We'll just watch that. I thought I had some tools to go through, and I kept forgetting I haven't got tools. of that horrible little you find if you don't get rid of them they come back and bite you later on well not re not really not really but it feels like it's like oh you got caught in the same machine i wish i got rid of you oh no exactly yeah well they're called dog what's they called dog lengths no dog ears dog ears yeah oh, no, you wouldn't like dog ears. Yeah, yeah, Kat's saying that the two, pro two um, projects you've done there are very good ways of practising your half-square triangles, yes. aren't they? Yes. 
sure I'm not getting myself confused. Get the glue. Of course, when the tables are raised up a little bit, that'll help. I'm not still in the wrong spot, am I? What? I'm not still in the wrong spot. No, not you. No. I'm t the, the table's are the wrong height for me because we didn't because uh, it was such a late minute decision. We haven't. I didn't wasn't able to come and stand ah. next to the tables until today, and I was watching Mark on um, Sunday. And what day was Mark in? Saturday, and it, he was quite tall next to the table as well. Yeah. So if you were going to quilt that for a wall hanging, which one would you use to, as a wall hanging? Which quilt, which um, uh, batting, which wadding would you use as a wall, a wall hanging? Would you use this woolen one or would you use the lighter polyester one? I'd use that one, yeah. the cotton one. It will hang better to, uh, against the wall. Oh yeah, of course. It will, the, the polyester ones and the wool ones tend to be puffy yeah. and they don't ever hang flat against the wall. How will I be able to see those later, Cat? Oh. Cat's just saying the emails are still flooding in. <laughs> are people still in shock? Still in shock. Have we had any nasty ones yet? Nasty. And the other day, and not the other day, a couple of weeks ago when Mark was coming on the show, I was telling the story earlier. Um, they put a picture of his glasses on the windowsill like that and a, and a tape measure and a, I can't remember what else was there. And it was saying, guess who's joining the Stone Street family? And all these people go, oh, I hope it's John, I hope it's John, I hope it's John. Then one woman called Linda went, oh, I hope to goodness it's not John. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Linda. I bet she's regretting writing that. Well, no, all the ladies turned on her, you see. Oh, blimey, what was that? That was Linda, that was Divine Retribution, Linda. The cat just hit her microphone and nearly deafened me. Okay. We need a couple more of the half square triangle units for the top row now. Oh yes, yeah. so not as many though, are No, there? just the same four, yeah. method. So we've got anything planned for this afternoon? Have I got what? Anything planned for this afternoon? I think afternoon? I have to go and lie down. <laughs> Recover. Yes. <laughs> I've, I've got to prep tomorrow's show that Paul's producing. And who's directing tomorrow? It's, it's Elliot directing tomorrow. And then um, I've also got to prep my show on Thursday. I'm allowed to talk about this, don't worry. I've got a show called The John Scott Show. Uh, on a Thursday. So I have to prep for that. It's Mandy Shaw on this week, Low Reed, who makes the silver jewellery, and we're making uh, white chocolate and raspberry cake. Oh, Low makes the bracelets and the rings. The what, sorry? Low makes the bracelet and the rings? Yes, yes, yeah. these, the ones that are like. Yeah, needles. I've got a ring, but. I've, oh, yes. Oh, and, and I've got a, I've got a um, crochet hook bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right, it's just yeah. crochet hooks as well, yeah. And what's it got to do with what, do you say? No, it's not making it. Lisa Marie Taylor, the, the making mum, is doing it. So it's a, it's a magazine show, so we do interviews, sewing, cooking, gardening, books. No, Mandy Shaw's on make, making her an exclusive gingerbread house sewing, sewing kit. Uh, Lowe's on to talk about her jewellery, silver jewellery, and Lisa Marie's making a cake. What cake? White chocolate and raspberry. Oh, yeah, you said earlier on because you were looking at that fabric. Do you get to sample it? What? Do you get to sample of it? Of course, I'm the host of the show. 
It's not gluten-free, so I have to eat it at the end of the show and then drive home quickly. Drive home quickly. I'll get home quicker. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But it's near, aren't you near Western Superman? Yes, in See, Bristol. So. Okay. I'll go through Bristol to get yeah. there, yeah. I don't like that bit of the motorway where it suddenly goes like that and suddenly you're on one side of the motorway and you're much higher than the other side of the motorway. That, it's like that. It's, you know what I mean yeah. when you go up that bit. I'm just going to give these a little bit of a press. Do what? I'm pressing these. Oh, OK. Got ten minutes, you're fine. OK. Why are you pressing those rather than rollering those ones, then? Um, because I'm going to cut them. I've oh, OK. Oh, yes, of course, right. Um, yes, you could easily make this in an afternoon, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Especially if you have somebody cut, cutting out for you. Or oh, now that's cheating. <laughs> Louisa Galt gets her husband, Justin, to do all her cutting out for her. He's called Justin Case, that's right. Just in case. Is it? Right. Who's that from? Steffi, thank you. What a lovely message. Oh. I was just going to see what she said. Small quilts are my favourites. I have them all over my house. This is not me talking, this is in the book. I have them on my house, on my tables, on my walls, tucked into baskets. Oh, I bet the dust. Small quilts are quick to make and perfect for gift giving. Oh. Okay, so Kat, if, if Kat makes this for you, right, she's going to embroider your date of birth in the middle. Oh, only if it's a new baby. So do you know anyone's having a new baby? No. Cherry, Cherry's having a baby. Our friend Cherry's having a baby. I'm just trimming these the same as I did to three and a half. These are finished. Oh, OK. They're, so they're small. Which were the ones with the four? Was that the yeah. last hour? Or that was it in the heart. <laughs> oh, in the heart. Yeah. Before, yeah. So I'm putting the ruler right on the seam line. Okay. I'm pushing up as far into the corner as I can go. So you want to get the lines in your ruler over your fabric, if that makes sense. People have said that to me before, is do you include the actual line on the ruler? And you do. And do you? Yes. Okay. That's where you're going wrong, Kat. <laughs> So where are you looking for your house cat? Oh. Should do it now while there's while the um what's that thing you'd have to pay now? Stamp duty. Yeah. Stamp duty, you don't Stamp pay. duty, yeah. yeah. Why not? Hang on. So even if you bought a million pound house the first time by, you'd have to pay stamp duty. Not the cat's got a million pounds to buy a house. The boyfriend might have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so I've, I've... Oh no, the prices there plummeted about a year ago. Don't know what happened. No, I'm talking about when Paul moved in. <laughs> right, okay, so you cut those down to three and a half yep. inches. So let's go back to looking at what our top row should look like. Yeah. So now we want to put in these two. These two. Do you know the clock in here isn't the right time? Because when we started and you count us down at eight o'clock, it was like three minutes to eight or something on this clock. doesn't matter. 
Okay, so this looks like the top row now. I was nervous then, so I noticed these things. You were nervous. I was. <laughs> I was so nervous. You this didn't morning. look nervous. Oh, that's all right then. I was. <laughs> Okay, same process. I'm going to take it in twos and build that top row. Right, okay. Hopefully. Oh, now you've done, you've got your two triangles in the middle. On this one, it's the same fabric. Whereas yeah. that one you've done, I quite like it in the same fabric. Okay, it's entirely up to you. I mean, how you, you can sort of play around with it, can't you? you if you've got a design wall, put it on a design wall, play around with it until, yeah, you, exactly. until oh, actually, you like it. Isn't that, weren't we going to do a design wall today? Because that's what the magic trick was part of, wasn't it? What's the matter, Paul? What have you got to tell us? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, of course I am. I thought it was you that was miserable. Paul's not happy to be here today. Was that thunder I heard earlier on, or was somebody moving some furniture around? What, upstairs? Yeah. It's the warehouse, apparently. Oh, right. I know, it sounded like an aeroplane was it taking did. off, didn't it? Quite. I've only flights to Barbados at the moment. Mm. Oh, I haven't had a holiday this year. Have you had a holiday this year? No. No, all mine got... I had three booked and they were all cancelled. Yeah, I had one. No, two booked and they were cancelled. The what, two cancelled? Two cancelled, yeah. Because don't you go to America a lot normally, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we usually do. Was I was supposed, supposed to be at a wedding in, on the beach in San Diego in four days' time. But the wedding's not happening. The wedding's yeah. Because I couldn't make it. No, nothing to do that. We went um, to Texas in February. Well, we came back in February. And um, it was just then that, you know, all the stuff... Yes, I know, because my, my neighbours went to New Zealand to see their... Um, family, yeah. and um, I collected them from the airport just as it was starting to yeah. to break and everything. Well, yeah, it we wasn't here, well, we don't know if it was here then, but you know what I mean, it was kind of like, it was when it was like, oh, this is a bit frightening, there's a, yeah. little did we know. Not yeah, that exactly. I want to get political or anything like that, but it's just... We distinctly remember coming back because we flew out of Austin straight back into London, yeah. and there was somebody on our flight um, who was... Uh, was wearing a mask and gloves um, and a hood and, and, thought, and we and we all looked across and we thought oh, you're, just, you're just taking this over the top yeah I know, I and know, now we look back and you think wow i know it's weird isn't it when you go to the supermarket and as everyone approaches the door everyone just puts their mask on it's like second nature now and things okay so we have two rows lovely um i'm gonna sew the two rows together okay we've just got two minutes left now. what i did was so i started the way I pieced the thing together is I started from the bottom and did two rows. Yeah. I then took my heart and pieced on the outside edges. Oh, so, so, so you had a whole... This was a complete yeah, piece. Yeah. And then I did the top and then I sewed the three segments together. Can you see what I mean? This segment, the middle segment and the top two rows. Yeah. I'm presuming the other colour actually is for binding, isn't it? That's yeah. That's probably what the other colour's for, isn't it? Because you Could didn't need to bind, you didn't have to bind yours, but... I'm presuming that's what the other one was. I think it's <coughs> I think it's really, really lovely. I think it's a sweet little piece. And the fact that we've done the panel just to save you cut out. But you could do it. If you bought the book, you could do all of these with all your stash busting and everything yeah. like that, couldn't you? And what I did with the seams as well, I, I sort of pressed them all in one direction on one row, yeah. all in the opposite direction on the next row, like yeah. all the way throughout. And then, I don't, can I turn it over? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course you can. And then with the the actual rows going across, can you see I press them in alternate directions? Yes. You don't want to press all your rows down or all your rows up because it'll make your piece warp. So the idea is that you're going to balance it and sort of flip yeah. one and way you, and one the other. On the half square triangles, you open those. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Some of them I've opened them, yeah. Brilliant. Lovely. Thank you so much, Salia. That's, okay. that's the time done. Right, very quickly then. So the book, the book has to go here like this facing me. I'm learning. Oh, I'll put it into shot, there it is. 
It's gorgeous. It's £22.99. It's playful pre-cut quilts by Amanda Niederhausen. Niederhausen. £22.99. Today's project was the first time we've ever done anything from the book. It's 15 projects with books to mix, uh, blocks to mix and match. Really, really beautiful. Very quick flick through there. Really lovely designs. And you can take blocks from each one and add them to blocks from another block, like the heart block there and things like that. I think it's gorgeous. Lovely, lovely book. £22.99. There are 15 projects in there. Right, now we have two bundles today. We have the pink bundle, which is the one that Sally Ann was working with. And on what you get in the bundle is you get whoop, your panel, which has got 25 five-inch squares on them. Plus, I'll just put it up there, you get the piece of purple gingham at the bottom. Plus, you get half a metre of your fuchsia. Plus, you get half a metre of your ivory. And that's all that bundle. £19.99. Even if you don't make anything out of the book, you've got your 25 charm pack. How much is a charm pack normally? 14 99 Plus, you've got two halves of fabric. Plus, you've got that. I don't know. Some of the prints are beautiful. Some of the patterns are beautiful. That's that one. Now, have you got that half a metre of fabric I threw at you, Sally? Brilliant. This is the rainbow one. I love this one. This is the one that Sally had hanging on the wall. Lovely colours. Look at the beautiful colours in this one. And on this one, you get the pale blue, the sky blue gingham at the bottom of that one. 25 five-inch squares plus your gingham. What you also get is you get half a metre of crimson and you get half a metre of cream. And with that, you could make something like this and also you see the crimson the Sally Ann hasn't used the crimson on there so you could either use the crimson as the board um, as the, the binding or you could use the crimson as the border around the heart in the middle you don't have to make the heart all of gingham you can make it of all different fabrics you have got enough fabric to kind of swap and change and move things around if you want to because the heart that she made with the four different colors looks gorgeous doesn't it the both those panels are exclusive to sewing street printed especially for this project Right, that. Right, I've done my first day. Can I have a week off now, then? So now what happened? Oh, do I have to do tomorrow's menu? Tomorrow's menu first. Here it is. Right, so tomorrow morning. Oh, John's under eight. Oh, no, hang on. Eight o'clock, John's under 15 pounds. Am I indeed? Nine o'clock, quilt as you go tote. That, oh, that's the quilt to go I was telling you about with Delphine Brooks. It's um, one that's got thermo lining in it, the quilt to go thermo. John's dazzling fabric delights at 10 o'clock. Little Paul's been at this menu, hasn't he? Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Autumn Felt Picture Applique with Delphine Brooks. Oh, and then Neil's not got a big surprise at 12 o'clock. Oh. Oh, is it the first hour from today? Oh. Oh, hang on. So we, there might not be a written... written it, so it, what it basically is, it's the first hour from today. But except that was missing Miss Out and most things sold out, didn't they? Oh, well, good luck on that one. Um, today, after this break now, there will be a four... Do you have a four-minute break or do you cut into it? Cut straight into it. Hard cut into October's block of the month. So that's coming up with Debbie Shaw. And she's just on her own doing it. She's got someone else sewing with her. Oh, she's on her own. Oh, she's on her own doing it. Okay. So have I got to sew block of the month then? Yep. Okay, that's fine. Right, I'm going, I'm going. Are we around out of time, Paul? Yeah, I'm going. I will see you at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Thank you for all your lovely messages. I'm going to go and have a look at them now when I eat my donut. I wonder if they can make me a frothy coffee as well. Is there a Starbucks in that? Or is Costa? I'm going, I'm going. I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Take care.